Hello? Hang on, give me one sec. One sec. <laughs> Hello? How's it going? Can you hear me okay? We got a bit of an elaborate setup for this one. How's it going? I can see he's on this. Hello, hello! <laughs> oh god, how y'all doing? Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me alright in relation uh, to the music that we have in the background? We're just doing a quick audio check before we get going with anything for today's stream. Yes, you can hear me fine. That's good to hear. How is it going, folks? You're all very welcome. There might be a little bit of an echo. I'm not in my ideal stream setup. Uh, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, this is where I forget to make food, uh, most days. Oh, God. You are all very welcome to the stream. Give me one minute just on the tech setup front. It's a bit awkward because my PC is, like, on a table there. But I've got, like, a really long cable to, like, bring this monitor over so I can see it. Give me one sec. Give me one sec. Oh, oh. We're just, we're just testing. And we're making sure... That shit's working. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! Alright. Let's get this up. How is it going, folks? Um, you're all very welcome um, to a special charity stream that we're doing today. Uh, it's no mystery that things are a bit shit in the Ukraine right now. And it is a huge crisis, it is a conflict that we're all just kind of keeping an eye on. Like, Jesus Christ, you know, like, it's horrible. Um, so, I wanted to do something special for a charity fundraise stream, and someone actually in the chat, uh, had a very wonderful and very sweet idea for a stream premise. Uh, that would simply be a bacon stream, but we try to make some Ukrainian desserts. Um, which I think is just the sweetest, most wholesome thing. So I have some recipes on my phone, and we're gonna be starting uh, with a traditional Ukrainian apple cake called... I apologize for pronouncing this wrong. 
Yabloknik? Is that right? I don't know if we have any Ukrainians in the chat here. Uh, but it's a traditional Ukrainian apple cake, and so I've got some ingredients here. I've got something else to make as well. Oh, hang on, how do you pronounce it? Hang on. English major. But it's not English! <laughs> Why is there no sound? There is sound. You can hear sound, yeah, you can hear me. I think there's that one guy. I'm Ukrainian, but I don't know what that is. Apparently it is a traditional Ukrainian apple cake. Uh, I had a look around for a few recipes. There's a Kiev cake that looks absolutely wonderful. Um, there's a lot of nuts in it though, and I've currently got braces, so it might be a recipe for disaster. Um, but this one, when I saw it, it just actually looks very sweet. Um, so I thought, you know what, for a kind of a wholesome change of pace for today's stream, we are simply going to bake a cake. Uh, and we have another thing that we're going to make after that as well. Um, a couple of things. It's... Now, you see, people are typing it out. It's... Yeah. If you type it out phonetically for me. People are typing it out again. <laughs> yeah, Blachnik, is it? Is that right? Yeah, blue chick, Nick, is it? <laughs> I do apologize. I'm trying. Um, but we're going to be making a traditional apple, apple cake. And I also want to give a special mention to Softgiven, who has actually been helping us kind of set up the interface for today's stream. You may notice kind of just above me, uh, we have a bar, we have alerts coming up. Nope, they're here. They're here. It's all flipped from my perspective. Uh, the team there has actually been helping me set this up for today. And we may actually have a few special surprises as we go along in the stream. So thank you very much, Softgiven, um, for helping out there. It's greatly appreciated. I kind of want to go the extra mile and make sure that the charity stream is a success. And, you know, they provide it some nice little goodies as we go along. I'll show you what they are later. Uh, Care is specializing in kind of humanitarian relief and emergency on the ground relief. It's kind of critical food supplies, critical water, critical medicine uh, for those in particular left behind in the Ukraine. There's a zone of conflict right now and there's a lot of people who cannot really get out and, it, you know, it's a crisis. Um, it's what they're specializing in. If you type exclamation point charity, you can find some more information about their charity work. It's all listed there. If you also type exclamation point charity, you can actually donate directly as well. Jesus Christ, I haven't even started and like you guys have already raised $400 as well. Oh my God, guys, you gotta calm down there. That's very kind of you. Jesus Christ, hang on, here, let me see. This is one bit of the setup that's a little scuffed and the reason is, I'll show you. Hang on. Eh. Give me that. Hang on. Because my PC is over there, here's my computer mouse that I need to scroll. And what I've actually done is I put a chair here so I can up the mouse down on something and scroll. We're very bound by cables, and unfortunately my table is quite far away from my kitchen setup. <laughs> but we're gonna make it work, damn it! It's gonna be fine! It's Ukraine without the Z. Sorry, yes, uh... I, I've corrected that in the stream time now. Raise the money for Ukraine. Speed run. It will work. I mean, it's... It, we're doing the best we can here. It's a bit of an awkward setup. In case you're wondering where that green screen is, uh, there's just a very depressing dryer behind it and like a very dark view of the rest of my apartment because it just goes down that way. Uh, and like, it just messed up the light. And <laughs> so we just have like a slight green screen. Maybe it's time to invest in a wireless mouse for these situations. Probably. Clip through the hand mixer to save valuable seconds. Oh no, Josie. Oh my god, you guys have already raised a thousand dollars, Jesus, like, I'm just introducing the stream. That's a lot of good, Jesus Christ, guys, we're 10% of the way, I haven't, I haven't started, there's nothing in the bowl yet. <laughs> Are you way too kind, though? Thank you very much, everyone. Hang on, let me get my, my mouse, hang on. Oh, god, eh. Hang on. Gotta line it up. Okay, 
Amber, thank you for the $25. You look great, Dan. Thanks for supporting Ukraine. Thank you very much. Uh, Yuxu, Slava Ukraini. Thank you very much. Arte, thank you for the $5. Bacon stream in a suit sounds amazing. Jesus Christ, guys, there's so many messages here. Nas gave, uh, like, someone gave $100. Someone just gave $250 there. I think that just flashed up, did it? Jesus Christ. I'm, I don't have a chance to fucking read it. Hang on. Eh. Oh. Getting this mouse to work properly is going to be my biggest obstacle. Hang on. Hang on. I actually do need a wireless mouse. <laughs> I gotta be so careful. I can hold this though and I can see. We're almost at $2,000. Like, Jesus. That's insane. Thank you so much, guys. Seriously, thank you everyone for coming out already. Alright, I gotta start actually baking at this point because, like... You guys are already, like, going mad here. $2,000. I've been live, like, five minutes. I'm not gonna be able to finish the bloody cake at this rate. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Bembo, thank you for $100. Uh, Markman, thank you very much for $25. Kala, thank you for $25. Gary Bomb, thank you for $10. Oh, Jesus Christ, guys. Mochi, thank you for $50. Oh my god. Okay, right. We we have to get started. We have to get started. Uh, actually bacon here. Uh, <laughs> hang on. So, I got a recipe. It's on my phone. In case you see me taking that out. We're gonna be starting with a lovely apple cake. Let's see. Okay, so preheat the oven. Actually, wait, wait, oh. Important step first, actually. Hang on. One thing that I almost forgot to do. As much as I want to bake in a suit, like you're asking for trouble. Uh, so Josie, AKA Cake Jumper, very kindly lent me an apron uh, that we're gonna pop on now. He's undressing woohoo. <laughs> Guys, please. He's trying to tie this up. Roll up your sleeves? I'll roll up my sleeves. I didn't know my mother was in the chat. <laughs> For three grand. I haven't even put on my apron. <laughs> I'm getting flustered. Just trying to tie it. Do you need help? Yeah, just like, get, like here, chat. Can you help me out here? There we go. Okay. We should be all right now. Oh my god! Like it's three grand. I, I haven't even heated the oven. Hang on. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> oh, doesn't want to work. Okay. Gotta preheat it to 190. We're gonna leave that running a while there. Okay? We need an 8 inch square bacon dish that we gotta butter up. Uh, let me see what I've got on that front. Should do the job. We want the sleeves rolled up because of stains. I'm going to roll my... I've taken out a bowl. <laughs> People are losing their minds already. It's like he's, he's gonna like catch his shirt on fire. <laughs> I'm gonna roll up my sleeves, all right? I know you're desperate for a bit of skin. <laughs> Gotta wait till after the fucking watershed, right? Put on safety glasses? Who? I don't need to wear goggles. <laughs> like, I'm just cooking. <laughs> it's so bright. The bowl is flat, but people are losing their minds. <laughs> Guys, there's nothing in this bowl yet, and we're a third of the way here. 
Oh, my apron's untied again. No, oh, I got it. <laughs> Tying this very tight. Double knots, Dad. Double knots. <laughs> I'm gonna have to call my mom at this right and ask her to tie this thing up. Use the bowl as a helmet. Uh, have you guys ever cooked in your lives? <laughs> uh, tie your hair up. I got it cut, like, two days ago. There's not much to tie left. It's a lot shorter than it was. <laughs> People are losing their minds. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Right. I, I need to actually get started. You guys are distracting me. Hang on. Ah. Okay. We need to lightly butter this. All right. You have to cook in good conditions, this is a special occasion. The conditions are quite lovely, thank you very much. I like to think things are going quite well. Here, I'll, I'll, let, let me just show you what I'm doing. I'm just buttering this up, right? Just need to lightly butter it. We're gonna get a slice of it. My hands are already washed, don't worry. I've done that. I'm just gonna spread it a little. Okay. Get it a bit about. Search for help. <laughs> We're gonna spread it a bit about. And we get some paper towel. We just kind of grab the butter. Oh my gosh. I buttered my pan and we're 40% of the way. <laughs> oh god, you guys are insane. Like, the oven is on, this has been buttered, and that's it. That's all I've managed to do so far. You guys are too good. Hundred percent speed run. <laughs> God Almighty. Kiki, Jacob, Gorman, Bad Cow. Thank you so much. <laughs> Gorman gives twenty five dollars with the message: "Wash your hands, bitch." It's oddly menacing. <laughs> Why? I wash them. They are clean. <laughs> you guys, you guys need to calm. You're out for violence and blood. It's just a bacon stream today. <laughs> oh my god, Blurf. Blurf gave $265. They have a message of Blurf. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Saving Ukraine speedrun. <laughs> Oh my god, I, I've only buttered the pan! I, I, I need to pick up the pace. <laughs> okay. So we need to sift together our flour, our sugar, our salt, and our baking powder. Cut in half the butter until the mixture is crumbly. Okay, so we gotta start mixing... We just gotta start popping everything in. Let me keep that handy there. I've got my big bowl. Um, do I have... Do... It's not in there. I'm looking for my thing for sifting. I have a cup measurement system, uh, because my mum is Canadian and I've been heavily influenced in that regard. I don't have a weighing scale or anything like that. We work out everything in cups in this household. And we've always been that way. And it's fine. You know, you just need to know how much of a cup that you've got. It's the correct method. Thank you. Thank you. No, it is. You're Canadian. I am. I'm Irish-Canadian. Dual citizen. 
Uh, I'm just looking for my sifter. Just one second. Oh god, it might be in the dishwasher. I might need to... I might need to give it a quick clean. Um, now, there's a nightmare of cables here. Hello? Yeah? Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm just gonna turn on the tap real quick. This is this is uncomfortably close. <laughs> Get some. Can you hear the tap running? I wash my fucking hands again while I'm here. I gotta be careful not to yell. I'm so close to the mic. We just rinse it off a little. Let me just use this. There we go. This is weirdly menacing. <laughs> Look, do you like my new haircut? You can see it real up real close now. Shockingly so. It's ASMR. <laughs> oh god. There we go. Okay. Okay. We have our sifter. <sighs> so I've washed a dish and put butter in the pan and we've raised five grand somehow. Jesus Christ, guys. Like, I'm, I barely started it. You guys are insane. <laughs> Washing the dishes from the Ukraine. <laughs> oh no, it's not quite right. No, we're gonna bake something, all right? We're gonna bake something. I've wanted to do a baking stream for so long. Like, I have a tripod for my camera now. I got it specifically, like, just for this setup. I think the main thing I need if I do this again is like longer cables. The mouse is a problem. I need a wireless mouse. We're at five grand. Guys! Oh my god. Oh, I gotta resize the chat a little bit. Hang on. Thank you. I realize what's going on there. One sec. Oh my god, guys. Hang on. Okay. Let me. You're moving them all. There we go. That's a bit better. Professional streamer. Knox gave $250. Just to say, to resize that. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay. We good now, yeah? Yeah, let me just do one more thing. There we go. The butter's gonna spoil- oh god! <laughs> the butter's gonna be fine! <laughs> Everyone needs to take a deep breath, okay? Take just... A lot of people are very anxious and wound up today, it seems. It's gonna be okay. The oven is on! Yes, it's heated up in advance! <laughs> That's what you do! <laughs> Wash your hands again! I have actually touched the computer now, so yes, I do have hands. There we go. 
Hands have been washed once again. You wasted electricity. <laughs> the body's gonna burn. How? It's just in a pan. How is it gonna burn? Oh, my sleeve came undone as well. Hang on. losing their minds. I thought this would be so chill. I thought this would be a very chill kind of laid back stream. You know, we're doing it for an important cause, but I like to think the premise is wholesome. I've never seen chat so on fire. <laughs> Just people screaming. <laughs> Bad cook! I haven't made anything yet! <laughs> This isn't the cake we're making. I've only buttered the pan. He's slow. Well, that's because I'm slow. Because, like, tech setup and that. And chat every other minute is like, wash his hands. Did he wash his hands? Did he wash his hands? He doesn't wash his hands in 60 seconds. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. We're gonna make some progress here. Are you ready for this? Okay. We need to sift a cup and a half of flour. Cup and a half, cup and a half. Pop it in. There we go, half a cup. Okay. I'm more used to whenever I make a cake that I do like kind of like the li liquidy stuff first. I start with like sugar and butter and cream those together. Uh, but this, I'm just gonna try follow the recipe here though. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, uh, I need the sugar and the salt. Uh, the salt is a quarter teaspoon. It's about that. Um, let's see. A quarter cup of white sugar. Uh, that's granulated. We want caster. Measure properly, but it's like using like a pinch of salt, you know, like when it calls that in the ingredient, like how much is a pinch? You have big fingers, yeah, that, that's a lot more salt. <laughs> Let me know if at any point the, the audio needs adjusting too, by the way, because I actually can't hear it. I popped on a playlist just for use. Uh, it's like, uh, Shadow has some really good ones on our YouTube channel. We're at six grand already, Jesus Christ, guys. Where's your fire extinguisher? Firetruck.png gave $25. <laughs> Where's your fire extinguisher? Like, is Smokey the Bear gonna show up? Only you can prevent this. Okay, a quarter cup white sugar. There you go. We're just gonna pop it all in. We're just gonna sift it all through. It's all just going to be mixed together a bit. Sugar, salt, and a little bit of baking powder. How much baking powder do I need? Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Yep. One. Let's do it. Big, that's a big teaspoon. It's a teaspoon. <laughs> it said two. I did two. <laughs> you guys are gonna make me have an existential crisis as we go here. <laughs> like doubting myself. I have to like trust myself in making this. <laughs> Just sift all that in. And there we go. It's like a little green. 
There we go. Okay. So sift it all together, cut in half a cup of butter until the mixture is crumbly. Half a cup of butter, okay. So, half a cup. So we have to work this out with the cup measurement system. How much is half a cup in grams? Let's just Google that real quick. Actually, I can kind of just work it out, can't I? I just like, eh. That's half a cup. Pretty much a stick of butter, yeah. Hang on. Just... There we go. What if I just like spoon it out like ice cream? Like just... Whoop, get it like that. Here, don't worry. Here. Half cup... Butter in grams. Alright, we'll, we'll check it. About 110 grams. About 110. That's fine. I can do that. They got little measurements on the packaging. If you look, it might not show up. That's probably just going to blind you. It's got little measurements so I can work it out safely and securely. So there's nothing to worry about. Half a cup of butter. And we just pop that in there. We don't sift that. Where's Gilbert? He he's in the bathtub. That's that's where he lives. He's not here. G galaxy music. <laughs> it's that must be quite inspiring at the moment. <laughs> You're melting the butter, you don't need to. You guys have no faith in me. <laughs> okay. Half a cup of butter until the mixture is crumbly. Okay. So what we'll just do, pop that down there. And just sip this in a bit. We have a little faith in you. Ah, thanks. I appreciate you. Yes. Gotta cut it up a little bit. We gotta just sift it together. And get it all together. We're on six and a half K already. My god, guys. We're so early into this. I don't know where we're gonna be in terms of time if we get 10k at this rate, but like, I have something for you if we get there. I do actually have something that's been very generously provided. And I feel like when we hit it, it might be the best time to uh, kind of unveil it. Use finger butthole? Are you gonna do like fucking Dark Souls like joke messages to help me cook? That would be a nightmare way to make anything. Hidden hat ahead in the recipe. Fortnite. Oh, you don't have the right, you don't have the right, you don't have the right. Are we getting pizza? I think it's a little cooler than pizza. I think it's a little cooler than pizza. A horse! <laughs> Two pizzas! That's as far as chat's imagination can go. Holy shit, a second pizza! Like, you cannot physically comprehend any other concept. Okay, we're just sifting this all together a bit. Can you order pizza anyway? I made chat pizza. I don't know if you saw on my Twitter. We actually made a pizza. Like, I've done my part. It was a homemade one, too. Okay. 
That's kind of crumbling now. I think that's about where it needs to be. Stir together the egg with the cream and gently mix into the flour until a soft dough has formed. Okay, so how much cream do I need? I need one egg. Um, a third cup of cream. A cream in here. Uh, there we go. I shouldn't have said egg. <laughs> no school, Jeremy. Thank you for the fifty quid. We stand with the U We stand with Ukraine. Thank you very much. Kana, thank you for 10 quid as well. Like, Jesus Christ, guys, you're so good. You're so good. As weirdly panicked as everyone is as I simply make this recipe, you're a good bunch. Okay, we need a... So it's a third cup of cream. See? Third to get the egg with the cream, gently mix into the flour until a soft dough has formed. Okay. So, third cup. Ah, uh, that in. The chat's gonna get very excited. <laughs> I don't even need to make the rest of the cake at this point. Like, this is enough for you. <laughs> an egg! I do. I have. Okay, now you're gonna... You're gonna fucking lose your minds. I have a carton of eggs. <laughs> so many eggs. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, how did he do that? Jesus Christ, that's so many! He's too powerful! You better watch out, Spanos. Might have these stones, I have the eggs. We're on 7k, oh my god, guys. I didn't know if someone told you, but you need to wash your hands. <laughs> People have told me this. Putting the cream back. People have told me this. Hurry up! <laughs> it should be okay. Don't worry. Okay. Let's crack. Nice egg in. There we get no shell. There we go. Bin is behind the camera, so hello. Now we wash your hands. Appease, appease you guys. It's gonna be okay. Jokes aside, Artie's kitchen is pretty nice. Thank you very much. It's quite cozy. I've got just enough space for everything. Like, it's just myself here. Okay. So. Now, we have to mix this until we have a dough. And if we have trouble with the consistency, I think we just pop a little more cream in. That should do it. Oh, look at that. It's looking nice so far. Feed us the dough. No, you, we gotta wait for the cake. can't have the dough. There you go. <laughs> People just giving like, a guy called Egg gives $12. Egg. Oh god.
We're 75% of the way there. My god. It's not even in the oven yet. Not even in there. You guys are mad. Oh, look at that hearty dough. You see that? Yeah. Get a load of that good shit. That's some nice looking dough. Okay. So press into the prepared baking dish. Layer the apples into the dish overlapping in neat rows. So we're gonna have to do some apple preparation in a moment, right? Um, what I can do for now is I can simply pop it in my dish. So I need to kind of spread it out here best I can. Is he making a pie? It's a Ukrainian apple cake. Uh, I probably pronounced it wrong, but Yabloknik? Yabloknik? Wash them. I will wash the apples. Don't worry. Don't, we're not there yet. But it was, I was looking for Ukrainian baking dishes, and it's one that came up, and it sounded very lovely. What's the difference between cake and pie anyway? That's a good question. How do you how do you distinguish them? A pie a lot of the time is because you have the crust, isn't it? And that's like the main difference. It's more like a filling. Pie is stuffed. Yeah, it's like you wouldn't really say like a jam pie if it's like a sponge cake and you have that in the middle. Have you washed the dough? No, that's not something you do. <laughs> you washed the dough. He didn't wash his egg! <laughs> that's sugar! He just poured that out of the packet in! <laughs> Wash the dough! What's wrong with you guys? Okay. Alright, in it goes! Get that all out. And then we scrape the bowl. So you guys can see a bit better. That's where it's all going. There we go, and then we just get a spoon. There we go. Okay, so I have to just try and even this out best I can. Hmm. We kind of just need to spread it. I wonder if the tray is too big or if it's supposed to be this thin. This is gonna be kinda hard to fill the space, ain't it? It looks like it might just be a very thin cake. I just hope it's enough. If you wash the recipe, that's not something you do. Yeah, I'm... I'm I'm wondering what would be best to do here. Let's see. I definitely got enough of everything in here. It must just be a very thin cake, or it's gonna like rise quite a bit. Okay. It must be very thin. Okay, I'm gonna just work away at this for a moment or two. Just to try cover the area of it. Does it have a lot of bacon soda? It had two uh, teaspoons of it, so that actually is quite a bit. Normally you only use like half a teaspoon or something like that, but... I mean, I'm just trying to follow it as it, like the recipe is presented here. I mean, from the end pictures, it looks really damn good. Yeah, 
So like we have the raisin agent here. I'm getting there a bit more. I still got like a bit of space down here to cover. I'm just gonna keep working away. What I might try to do is if I get like a knife. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna run it oh, in a little bit of hot water. And that way I can spread it a little bit easier. Go. Wait for it to be hot. Working man. Let us lick the bowl. No, we need we need what's in there. If you're good, if you're good, maybe. I'll let you lick the spoon. Okay. Okay, that's spreading a lot easier. Oh, 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 oh. Some good dough. Very good dough. I'm right handed, so I'm trying to get it in here. I have to turn it quite a bit. Butter your spoon. You don't. How do you guys survive? Do you just order pizza, like for sustenance, and that's it? Pizza and hot pockets. Yes. Um, I'm not surprised. <laughs> People are like shocked by many of the concepts on display at the moment. What the fuck is he doing? Why didn't he eat that stick of butter? Snacker, thank you for $100. Jesus Christ. George, thank you for $25. SC, Silver Rain. You guys are being way too good. We're almost at 8K. It's not even in the oven. It's not even in the oven yet. I'm gonna have to unveil the surprise soon. I think we're all, I mean, we're almost at 10K. Should we just say it like, if we get the 10k, then I show it off, like, no matter what the time is. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. You, I think you'll like it. Okay. But that's what we're gonna say then. There is a surprise when we get there. been generously provided. It's no, it's not a body pillow. Stop that. <laughs> I'm not pregnant. No. Why does people always assume I'm pregnant? <laughs> I'm not. We've been over this. Okay. So there's a lot of rising agent in this. So presumably it's going to come up quite a bit. Spread quite thinly for now, but that should be okay. Uh, the next step... Okay, so... We have to prepare the apples next. So, four large apples, peeled, cored, and thinly sliced. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be laying all of the apples over the top of this. This bit might take a little while to do, but that's okay. Let's clear a bit of space. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop this on the table over there for a moment. Okay, and then I need to get my cutting board. Gusty Garden's playing. Ah, you guys are having a good time with the music. I'm glad. Right. Cutting board. Right. And we 
we got some lovely apples here. Oh, they smell, they smell very sweet. Get a, get a whiff of that, go on. They smell very sweet. So we gotta decor them, we have to peel them first. And um, yeah, thin, very thin slices. Eight grand already, Jesus Christ, guys. Eight grand, you're way too good. Okay, let me just give them all a little wash. Take the sticker off too. Don't we don't want the stickers in them? One. Two. It's three. One, two, three. It's four. Can we eat the stickers? You probably don't want to. I think that might be a mistake. Turn that off. Okay, so we need to peel these first. Um, I mean, I just have like a standard like carrot potato peeler. I assume that's just going to work fine here. I could use a knife maybe. I've never peeled an apple before. That'll work, okay. Let's just get to work here. I gotta concentrate on what I'm doing here so I can't really look at chat for a moment. I don't want to get myself hurt again. The nasty one. You don't pay attention. Wash the peel, like... You guys just want to, like, clean the world, I think. <laughs> I think some people are confused what's going on here. The drown everything in water stream is somewhere else. You're looking for, like, the pools and hot tubs category on this site, okay? You're in the wrong place. This is food and drink. Peeled apple. Uh, we gotta do that four times. Just get to work. Is 10k the surprise? Yes. Yes, no, it is. And we're very almost there as well. You guys have actually done amazing. Thank you so much. Like, it's. It's actually so good, yes. Dreamers Lil, thank you for a hundred dollars. I'm a Ukrainian, not currently living in Ukraine. In, in Ukraine, thank you for doing this. No problem at all. No, like, like honestly, like I want to give like a big credit to the lad in chat who actually suggested this because like I really want to do something, you know, because like, like it's important, you know. You can't really look away when half the world's on fire. You got to do something. I'm like, what's the point in having a platform otherwise? And like, the lad who suggested this, it's just such a wholesome idea. And I really just genuinely like it. Like, it's just such a sweet thing to do. Uh, like, literally and as a gesture. <laughs> Apples, eh? <laughs> you know, so I, I do not claim credit for this idea myself. I'm excited to see how this cake turns out, though. We do have another delicacy as well. It's a little teaser. There is another thing we are going to try and make after this. Okay? We're not only making the cake today. There is another thing.
It's not pizza. It's still not pizza. Oh god almighty. Okay. I've got most of this apple peeled. It's hard to kind of get that middle bit, but like we're gonna decor it anyway. So a lot of that will be gone. So it should be okay. That's two. 8,300. You know, I kind of want to just pop what the surprise is now as I'm peeling these apples. I think... I think I might spoil you. Okay? Alright. Give me one second, and I'm gonna see... if this works. Uh, coincidentally, it has something to do with apple. Um... <laughs> Give me one sec, and I'll just represent this. One sec! Okay. Alright, actually no, I shouldn't- wait. Okay, one sec. <laughs> one sec. Okay, so courtesy of Soft Given and as like part of like an incentive for doing the charity stream today, uh, they very kindly provided some prizes for a giveaway that we're going to be running on the stream for the next 10 minutes. Um, if you donate in the next 10 minutes, um, you get like an entry into it. And if you donate over $25, you get two entries per dollar, I believe is how it works. Uh, what they have provided for this giveaway is just to represent it, a Nintendo Switch, the newer one, so it's better than my one, uh, a pair of Apple AirPods Pro, apples, and a copy of Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is very generous of them, they didn't have to do anything. Um, I, I, when I was just setting up the event, they were like, sure, fuck it, do you want to give some stuff away? This like, say thanks to people, and it's actually very kind of them. Well, thank you for all that soft giving. Now, give me one sec, and I'm gonna start it. All you gotta do is if you just donate in the next 10 minutes, you will be entered in the giveaway. And I believe it's one entry per dollar. If it's over 25, it's two for, for the dollar. Give me one sec. It's live! <laughs> it's live. But yeah, that's a very that's a very generous kind of giveaway that they supplied for um, for this stream. They really didn't have to do it. It was when I was talking to the representative for trying to set this up, they were like, sure fuck it, do you want to do one? And it's all in the interface, like if you type exclamation point charity, you can donate that way through it and be entered into the giveaway. I believe it's valid for most regions in the world too. Um, there's just like only a couple of places that they can't post to, but it should be worldwide. So like if you're in the States or Australia or places like that, it should be valid and they can get it to you. Which is actually very cool in of itself because postage is a nightmare to work out. Uh, but yes, thank you. Thank you for that. Like it's just a really cool way to kind of incentivize it. So that's valid for the next 10 minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, it's over 9,000! Holy shit, guys! Oh my god, that's just... 10 grand! We fucking did it! <laughs> Holy shit! Wait, wait, wait! Eleven grand! <laughs> oh my god! Twelve grand! 
Oh, holy shit! Thirteen grand! You got seven and a half minutes? Go, go, go! Holy shit, guys! Fourteen grand! Oh my god! I gotta peel these apples. I gotta peel these apples. Fifteen grand. I gotta peel these apples. I gotta keep going. Holy shit, guys. You're way too good. <laughs> I'm kind of just watching on in horror and awe at, like, the donation ticker just go. <laughs> like... $16,000 have now been raised. In the time you've raised the last $1,000, I have peeled half of an apple. <laughs> oh my god, guys. <laughs> You've now raised $2,000 and about two-thirds of the way there. Jesus fucking Christ. I've almost got it. I'm almost done with this apple. Give me one sec. You guys are wait $18,000. We've raised almost 10 grand in the time it has taken me to peel another apple. This is the most charitable apple peel in I think I've ever seen. Like, just... $10,000! In the time it's taken. I'm still not even done the fucking apple. I got one more apple to go. I got one more. We're getting there. Peeling an apple for 20 grand. <laughs> you see, you say that jokingly, but now we're on $19,000. Seriously, thank you so much, everyone, like, for support and charity here. See, like, that's a lot of money. You know, good luck on the giveaway. But, like, seriously, like, you know, like, in part, like, kind of entering that as well, like, you, you're doing a lot of good, guys. That's an unbelievable amount in, like, the last five minutes. Still three and a half minutes to go if you want to enter. Gamers love charity. The thing is, like, game community is kind of, is really good for, like, a lot of stuff like this. Like, people come together and actually support these important causes. Like, think about events like AGDQ. Think about, like, Jack doing Thankmas. God's Cast Jingle Jam. There's actually, like, a lot of fantastic organizations and events that people organize. And, you know, people always come out in droves for them. Like, it's just incredible. $20,000! I'm almost finished the apple! Oh 
I'm almost there. Guys, you're way too good. You're way too good. Double the goal, RT. I mean, I, I don't know if I can actually change it on the interface, but like we've we've smashed it. It's absolutely been smashed. Like you're just so good. Over twenty thousand dollars. Like you, I'm very thankful to have you as our community. You're doing a lot of good in the world. I might order pizza. I'm debating it. We might actually get some pizza for everyone. The apples have been peeled. $20,600. Like, so many people. Oh my. Like, it just keeps going. Didn't expect a message. <laughs> Arrow, thank you. This is so good. Make a pizza. I don't know if I have the ingredients to make a pizza right now. But, like, I, I mean, I think. I think chat is owed a pizza. If we do this setup again sometime, how about we make a pizza on stream? We just do like like the cooking streams. I really want to still show you guys how to make my my mum's like kind of chocolate chip cookie recipe. Um, because like they're the best chocolate chip cookies in the world. You can say otherwise, you're wrong. Um, and it's like she passed down the recipe to me, and I would love to share it with folks. They're real good. Hey Kelly, how you doing? Cooking a wit mum. <laughs> I'll get her here. <laughs> Oh, God, love her. She wouldn't know what to do. She'd start making sandwiches for everyone. That's what she'd probably do. And she'd be there a long th time. You'd always be asking the chat, like, is everyone okay? Do you want a cup of tea? Do you want a flat 7 up? Oh, God. You guys are insane. Okay. Stop the clock there. Congrats to No More Milk. No More Milk has won it. So you're getting like the newest Nintendo Switch, a copy of Pokemon Legends Arceus and some Apple AirPod Pros. Congrats to you, my man. I'm not entirely sure how the interface works. You may get an email or something like that, but we have it documented here for you at any rate. So if there is anything funny, we'll sort it out. They're here somewhere in the chat. No more milk. They're here somewhere. Congrats to you though. Congrats to you. That's very generous of you to donate. Thank you to everyone who gave during that block as well. Like, Jesus Christ, it's $21,000. My God. Get him in voice chat. I don't have any audio right now. <laughs> I won't be able to hear him. <laughs> Drink no more milk. I don't I don't have any milk on me. I need to get rid of the apple feelings. Uh, you guys have been so good. Yeah. Let's just get these apple peelings to the bin. I don't think we need these. Would you like some? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I think that's the most charitable apple peeling session, like, just ever. I don't know if, like, apple peeling is a category that, um, exists for charitable causes. We, like, you raised $13,000 in the time it took me to peel those apples. That's insane. I like people are still giving as well. You're so good. If you stick with me, right? Okay, so 
Here's the double whammy. If you stick with me, and when we finish the cake, we might have another little goodie. We might have something else. Now stick with me. Stick with me. We're going to finish the cake. It's not pizza. It's a bit cooler than pizza. We might have something more. Doc Cuban has been very kind for this stream. You know, it's very, it's very generous of them. They want to support the event and just make sure we have a good time and raise a lot for charity, which is, is you know, very kind of them to do. You promised pizza. I have promised pizza, but this is something else. This is something else. This isn't the pizza. But we gotta finish the cake first. We gotta finish the cake. I need to wash my hands again. Okay. Right, so we peeled our apples. <laughs> um, I've gotta decor them now. I don't know what the best way to decor them is. I assume I just take a knife to it. So powerful. Can we just cut around the core, maybe? Yep. Yeah, I mean, that, that seems about right. One apple core. Who gave him a knife? Well, it, the recipe re requires it. Ah, oh, Chloe, Charlie, and Sev, thank you for the 25 quid there. I oh, hope bless. Ah, oh, they're floating in chat. These are too good. Chloe and Charlie we've had on the channel before. They're lovely. Chloe is my editor. You have her to thank for a lot of the YouTube content we get. Be lost without her. Like, Charlie is her partner. She's very lovely. Works with animals. It's a really cool fucking job. And Sev, or Severus, is her adorable little cat. And he's very sweet. I'm gonna get a bit more off that apple core. There we go. We're good. Uh, still got two more apples. Miss Evans, great. She is. <laughs> no, they all are. They're very sweet. Good to have them here. I'm trying to concentrate a little bit. I'm aware that I'm holding the knife right now. I don't want to just be like haphazardly, kind of just like chatting, and it's like, oh yeah, like thanks for the, you know. Thanks very much, random guy. You know, like, it's a recipe of disaster. This is serious, right? You can't joke about with this kind of stuff. You need to concentrate. Live dismemberment stream. Oh, God. Oh, no. Nice juicy apple here. This is gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. A little bit. Okay, I did this one a little bit wrong. Hang on. Cut that out. Hey, apples have been decored. Uh, now we just gotta cut it into thin slices, I believe, and spread over the top. Yeah. I'm just making sure I haven't missed a step. I was I was worried I missed a bit with the cinnamon. That's for the topping, which we're going to do next. That's okay. Peeled, cored, and thinly sliced. And we just thinly slice them. 
Do -do. Flare the apples into the dish, overlapping in neat rows. Okay. So. Uh, thinly slice. How do we want to do it? Like, maybe like, just like that. Yeah. I think that seems good. Yeah, I'm just gonna work away here because I got a lot of apples to cut. Smells so sweet here. Get a grater. Well, it's calling for them to be like kind of sliced because I think they're gonna they're gonna caramelize like a little bit when they're when they're baked in the oven, aren't they? I think that's gonna be very nice. See, I'm doing kind of like apple slices like that. See? I think it should be good. I'm so hungry. Well, we got a cake coming. You're in the right place. You're in the right place. That I'm starving. <laughs> ah, you're fine. Dinner's on its way. Gonna be okay. The oven been on for long. The oven probably has been on too long. I mean, the cooking time, let's be honest, does not factor in the possibility that you are live streaming the cooking process and continually stopping to like um, address tech difficulties and the like. The oven has been heated up a good old while now, but it should be fine. Yeah, but thank you for a hundred dollars. Apple Orchards, thank you for ten dollars. Power of Apple Cake compels you. Thank you so much. You're so good. I'm getting there. I think we just need to layer all this in. This is gonna be a really sweet cake, like, so much apple. This is why I never preheat the oven, I take way too long to prep. I'm kind of the same, I'm like a, I'm like kind of very cautious when I'm baking. I'm like, I double check a lot, you probably even notice me going for my phone a lot of the time while we're working away. I'm very like kind of aware of kind of like getting the instructions wrong or something like that. So I just try to follow them my best. You know, give myself some extra time to make a meal. I'm not the best cook. I'm better at bacon. I can I can do some mean cakes. Cookies are my favorite thing to make. So as long as I can live off, you know, cake and sweet things for the rest of my days, um, I'll be fine. It's just a shame <laughs> about like actual healthy, more healthy cooking, I suppose. Did the music stop as well? Do you have any more audio? I think the music ran out, did it? Do you want me to get another a playlist for you? I'll get one in a sec. Yes, it did. Yeah, give me, give me one sec. We'll pop on some more. I'm just gonna finish. I got like. Half an apple left. Put on the Doom playlist. No, it's gonna... It's supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> it's too frantic. It's too frantic. There's so much silence. Oh no, I can hear myself think. Okay, I'm gonna stop that and fix that right now. Here, let me take the monitor. Nintendo music? Cooking pure silence. <laughs> I don't think cooking in pure silence is the way to go. This 
get my alerts back. There we go. This is some weird Doom music. It's not Doom! God almighty. Okay. Apples have been sliced. Uh, so we're gonna get our base back. Oh, ho, ho. And now we're gonna layer all of the apples onto this. A sleeve back up. So many apples. Rewash hands. <laughs> I can't. All right, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> you know when you wash your hands too much and like the skin gets damaged between your fingers? Well, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> All right? We gotta stop washing them. It's getting a bit much. My hands are getting a bit dried out. Don't care. <laughs> you guys are so paranoid about washing your hands. He took his hands away for a minute. He is unclean. How many apples are you putting in there? This is only four apples. Yeah, it, it looks like a lot. It's gonna add like a fair bit of bulk to it, I think. I'm just trying to layer them in, like, we're gonna have to stack these a bit. There's no way this all fits. Look at that, look how many apples there is. This is gonna be so tasty. Oh. I just have to start popping the apple on. It's, it's so much apple. Oh my god. The soap burning the germs off. Are you okay? It's. I mean, it's not. It's not a problem washing your hands. Washing them like six times in ten minutes. You're gonna have issues there. <laughs> you know. I remember my food safety hygiene. All right. We did that course back in the day. There's like a mountain of apple in this. This is gonna be so good. I don't know if Josie's still here as well, but I, I hope you're excited to try some of this. Myself and Josie, aka Cake Jumper, we like to meet up and exchange baked goods and that. Dublin residents and being good friends IRL. Okay, this is apple heavy. This is gonna be intense, I think. If you do not like apple, this may not be the dish for you. Look how much there is in that. Do you see that? That's a huge layer. That's chunky. Like, there's so much there. That's a lot of apple. It looks like potato. It's not potato. It's, it's apples. God. It's apple-centric, honestly, because I'll be honest, even the second dish we're making also contains fucking apples. <laughs> I didn't think about it at the time, but it's like, yeah, no, that's in there. <laughs> I hope you like apple. Uh, you can up your goal also. Oh, uh... Benji from Soft giving up the goal actually there. Thank you very much. I did because I, I didn't know how to do that myself. Did he set it to 30k? Is that right? Yes, he did. Well, thank you for that. It has been up to now. Jesus, like, you guys are being way too generous. I mean, no matter what happens, like we've already raised double the original amount we set out to do, which is honestly insane. 
You know, so like, thank you so much to everyone, like, showing their support. You know, it, it's important. Um, I like times of crisis like this in the world, you know. And like, a small gesture goes a long way. Speed run the 30k. <laughs> well, when we finish, when we finish this apple cake, we got a cheeky something for you. We have another cheeky something for you, alright? So, bear with me, but we gotta finish this first, okay? We gotta finish this first. Okay, the apple is layered. Now I have to make kind of like the streusel, which is like a kind of a, uh, what is it? Kind of like a topping with brown sugar that we're making. And it's got cinnamon in it. That's actually gonna be, that's gonna be so nice. I'm getting like a real Christmas feeling from making this. Okay. So, I have to mix together. Paris screws by mixing the brown sugar, two tablespoons of flour, and cinnamon together in a small bowl. Cut in two tablespoons of butter until the mixture is crumbly. Sprinkle over the apples. Okay. So just combine it all and mix as before. Smaller bowl for this. Uh, I put some butter away in the fridge so that it would be cold. Like, about two tablespoons. So we got that handy. Uh, I need a bowl. Take one of these. We'll pop that in. So cold butter specifically, I call it for. I thought that was a cabinet. That's my fridge. That's my fridge. <laughs> it's a compact little kitchen, but I love it because like I just live by myself, sure, you know, so I don't I don't want like too much space. I like everything is just like so nice and cozy and I kinda love it. Um half a cup of brown sugar. Now I tend to go I have like the light brown sugar. I tend to go for this because with the dark brown stuff, it can just be really heavy. And I think given the amount of apple that's in this, we want the lighter one. But I think it might be a bit too sweet otherwise. Okay, so we need half a cup. There is... Oh, I never used this, so we're good. Fridge reveal for 30k. My fridge is not that exciting. <laughs> My fridge is not- like, why do you, what do you want to see my fridge for? There's no bell peppers that have been abandoned in it this time. Okay. Half a cup of brown sugar. There we go. Two tablespoons of flour. And then... Ground cinnamon. Oh, I'm excited for the cinnamon in this. So teaspoons and tablespoons. Uh, cinnamon. Twelve. Ground cinnamon. Okay. Don't want to get too much of this cinnamon. It can be deadly. There's a bit of spillage there. Spill it a little less. Oh, it smells so good. Get a whiff of that. Get a whiff of that. Did you see like the fume coming off it? This should be illegal. It's so good. I love cinnamon. One of my favorite snacks that my dear old mother would make for me uh, back in school was we'd have cinnamon buttered toast. And it's still one of like my favorite things to this day. It'd just be like kind of toast butter, a sprinkle a bit of cinnamon. We'd have it at the very end of a day. We've always been big at like kind of like the bedtime snack meal uh, in my household. Because you just sleep better if you're not hungry. And that was one of like the staple snacks that we always had. Our family all has a bit of a sweet tooth. It's because of my mum, because she's a real good baker. <laughs> oh, 
but ah, uh, oh, cinnamon toast. So nice. Cinnamon in general, it's so good. Like anything where I get to chuck it in, I'm just like, yes, give me that. Okay, two tablespoons of flour. I assume I need to sift this again. This will be. Bit of emotion. One. There we go. West Virginia trip at 30k. <laughs> well, I mean, we might be able to do something soon because I think after I pop this on, this is the last step. And I think once I pop this in the oven, I think we can do something cheeky again while we wait for it to bake. Okay, so bear with me. This is gonna be hard to kind of mix because the butter is... They, they want it cold butter. Cold butter is just harder to kind of like grind anything into, unfortunately. Like I've just kind of pierced it here, which is not ideal. Um, might give this just a quick old clean and then just use that because I can like grind it a bit better. There you go. <laughs> I did not think this angle through. I didn't think I'd have to wash so much as I was going. But it, it is what it is. Do you like the brushing noises it makes? <laughs> RT does his dishes for the for Ukraine ASMR. Music audio all good while we're, we're here too. It's going well. Cool, just making sure. I can't hear it, so you gotta give me a heads up if something's like a there. I know I've just cleaned this. I'm tempted to just heat the spoon a bit and make it not so cold. It's just really hard to mix stuff when it's cold. But I can try with the wooden spoon first. No, how dare you! Nervous, some people. That is thing it's just gonna get stuck a lot. Use a fork. I know I can use a fork. I'm just kind of used to like kind of cream and stuff if that makes sense. I'm kind of just like blending it in. You just can't keep smashing this with a wooden spoon until it does the job. You have mirrors at the end of your hands. Oh my sleeve. Hang on. Do you mean I have mirrors? 22k as well, Jesus guys. You're so good. Pacman, thank you for $100, more to Ukraine, cheers. Thank you so much. You're so unbelievably good. Another thank you I want to give for kind of setting this up as well. I know there's been a lot of people who have um, helped fundraise for the exact same cause here as myself through Kevin and Anna. And it was actually on Kevin and Anna's advice that like I set up my own campaign and was kind of told this is like a good one to support. You know, so like, even if you haven't been supporting directly through me, and like, like just through some of my friends, like, thank you very much, you know? All goes to the same cause in the end. It's like, you're doing good. And I know there's been a lot of support on their streams lately too. But like, they helped me kind of like, with setting this one up. They're a good bunch. So, I'm not sure how crumbly I'm supposed to make it. I'm gonna just keep blending it a little. 
more ASMR noises. Hey guys. Hey, we're going to be quietly cooking. Because it's three in the morning and I've lost control of my life. I don't want to make too much noise. True story. Look, have you really lived if you hadn't ha haven't had that experience, right? Part of growing up and being an adult is realizing that no one knows what they're doing, and we're all just kind of winging it, <laughs> and that's okay. Cynthia again? Is it playing Cynthia music? That seems a bit intense. <laughs> you are about to face the final boss as I make this Ukrainian apple cake. Be prepared to suffer. Oh god, I haven't done that voice in a while. <laughs> I miss it. Okay, so I'm I I'm wondering how I'm supposed to spread this out over the apples, right? Because this isn't too crumbly right now. I'm trying to work out how I do it. The mixture's supposed to be kind of crumbly. I think I've made like more of a dough again. <sighs> that might be problematic. Crumble it with your hands. I think I'm gonna have to. Because I think I've creamed it a little too much. And it's gonna be hard to kind of get over everything now. I think if I just, like, pick it up... Um, we should be okay here. Just... Mm, mm, mm. Should be okay. Hey, right, listen, I don't know, before you get in my, like, like case or, like, an inappropriate term in that, in the context of bacon, it's perfectly okay to say you are creaming something. Come on, guys. I, I just think better of you, I didn't think I'd have to clarify that. Come on now. Just joined, hey Monty, how you doing? You should know better. <laughs> oh god. It's 18 plus. No, it's a valid bacon term. It's not getting crumbly enough. It's... I don't know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Because that if I drop that over it, I'm going to have like a blob on top. I'll try a fork. I think maybe I used a little too much butter. See, because uh, uh, the consistency is dough right now. Um, that's a bit of a dilemma. Dark Bro and Vinny, thank you for the donations there. Uh, Aina, thank you very much. Manfred von Cynthia. <laughs> Phoenix Wright, you are not ready to face my Garcham. Gorman, thank you for $5. I wish I'd known this was not safe work before watching with my grandparents. But the thing is, ask your grandparents, right? Because, you know, they're innocent and sweet, and they'll know what the correct context of creaming is. Go up to your grandmother and ask her, you know, do you cream it when you're baking? And, like, you're making your cookies. And it's fine. She won't think anything of it. It's the rest of you. We gotta get your minds out of the fucking sewer.
Do not ask them that. <laughs> It's gonna be at least one, one person from this chat. It's like grandmama. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Sorry, just making sure everything's okay there too. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, I, I still don't know how to make this crumbly. The consistency isn't quite right. I can. Okay, hear me out. I treat it like a dough. And I maybe just spread it out. And then just layer it on top. It could work. Add a little more dry ingredients and only mix with your hands. Yeah, you know, maybe if I just put some more flour in it. Maybe that'll help. Here. We're in uncharted territory now. Now we're good. Camera froze. No, I was just very still. <laughs> hey. Yeah, that's already working. Thank you. And just lightly mix it, yeah. I'm not squishing it as much. Yeah, that, that's way more crumbly consistency now. Thank you. I think I can kind of spread it. It's just because once I start spreading it, it's going to fall between the apps. So it's going to be really hard to kind of move around. Backseat bacon? <laughs> Anonymous gives a hundred dollars and simply says E. Thank you. Go, okay. I think that's about right. I think we're good. Get my hands in all wash, what's left of them? The thing is, right? Once we put this on, we're done. And we've made our first delicious meal. We're of course going to try it on stream when it's like hot fresh from the oven as well. Like, of course. Sprinkle this on. What's the best way to do this? Maybe just if I pick it up with my hands again and just kind of like lightly kind of toss it. Yeah. Like. Kind of like that. Because I can kind of control it where it goes a little bit. Yeah, that's kind of working. So good. So good. It's definitely the right consistency now. Thank you for suggesting the more flour. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, look at that. Oh, here, we gotta get a close-up of that. <sighs> look how nice that's looking before it even goes in. That's so good. Perfect bowl as well. It just, like, kind of all filled up. Okay. So, bake in a preheated oven until the apples have softened and topping is browned about 25 minutes. So, we're gonna pop it in. We'll set a timer for 20 minutes, okay? 
This is it. Our preparation is complete. I made one mistake. I left a hot tray in there and I just need to move it. I'm looking for my oven mitts. Hang on. There's a tray in there. It's one of those shelf trays. So uh, let's just uh, move that real quick safely. <laughs> Set our timer. So I'm gonna set it for 20 minutes because it says that it'll be about 25. My oven likes to really cook things a bit faster too, so I think 20 is like the safest bet to make. There we go. Ukrainian apple cake is now cooking. But you didn't take it out. Oh, there was just a tray in there. It's like the, it's like. I put it on, like, the top shelf instead, so I just needed some of the space, you know? Fine. Now order pizza. I've got maybe something a bit better than pizza. Give me one sec. Need to make sure that this is all set up okay. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Wait one sec. There's a chair here. In case you wonder what I'm bending over. It's like I'm saying hi to chat. Hello. Okay. So, once again, uh, as thank you for supporting charity, we've very generously been provided with another prize to give away for the next 10 minutes. Um, we had a Nintendo Switch last time. This is for, this is for supporting uh, Care in the UK, Ukraine Crisis Fund. Thank you again, Soft Given, for setting this up. You want to see the prize this time? PlayStation 5, with a copy of Elden Ring. It's pretty damn good. And we're gonna be giving away in the next 10 minutes. Um, entries are going to work as they did before. Um, so like, if, if for every dollar that you donate, you get one entry in the giveaway. If you donate over $25, your entry will count as two per dollar. Thank you very much, Softgiven, for doing this and just for supporting the event today. I'm gonna start it in just one moment. You'll see it come up on stream, okay? Now, it's a digital edition PS5 as well. Uh, this one has a disc drive. This is the one without the disc drive. Should mention that too. Now, ships worldwide are just a few countries, and you can see what those few countries are on the charity page. I'm going to open, I'm going to activate the event in just one moment and give you the chance for it. You'll have 10 minutes, all right? Give me one sec. I'm not watching the PS5. <laughs> I should choose a better point to bend over. <laughs> All right. We starting. We starting. There you go. I. Uh, oh. It's up there! You got 10 minutes! Thank you so much for just generously providing that. Like, see, again, they didn't have to do this. It's when I was, like, mentioned we were doing the event, though. They were, like, unbelievably kind with this. You know, and it's just, like, an extra, like, little incentive and a thank you for supporting charity. Um, 
I, it, it's very sweet, you know? Yeah, you got 10 minutes. Good luck to you. And thank you everyone who's supporting kind of CARES U Ukraine Crisis Fund here today as well. Uh, again, uh, CARE for the Ukraine Crisis Fund, it's like humanitarian aid, but like kind of on the ground and it's trying to target those who are specifically still in the Ukraine as all of this is unf unfolding. Things like emergency food, medicine, water, important stuff you just need to live. Uh, they're just on the ground there and trying to do some good in the world. Uh, anything and everything you can donate will do some good in what is a very scary time in our world. Like seriously, I thank, thank you everyone who already has supported charity and continues to do so. And... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, god. <sighs> We've now raised $25,000. We've now raised $26,000. Jesus fucking Christ. Wash your hands again. <laughs> We've now raised $27,000. I don't know what to say, guys. It's unbelievably generous of you. I know this is a cheeky incentive and giveaway for it too, but your money's still doing a lot of good. And like, thank you so much everyone for supporting charity. We've now raised $28,000. You guys are unbelievable. You're absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, everyone. We've now raised $29,000. Jesus. And there's so many kind like messages in there as well. Thank you so much, everyone here. Thank you so much for coming out today, like seriously. You're doing so much good. I cannot believe it. It's an absurd amount. You have now raised $30,000. Thank you so much, guys. That That's astounding. That's so much. We've been streaming, like, what, two hours? 30 grand that's gonna do some good in Ukraine. That, that's so much money. I don't know what to say. That's an ins that's, it's insane. $31,000 now. While this is going, all right, I have something else for you. Second dish. Second thing we're gonna be making. Now the timer is still trickling away for the oven. We'll check back, but let me share with you what we're making next. Okay. So this is a special one and I was actually looking for something that's like a bit of a drink. Um, that we could make, but it's like, and I found one that is quite nice. Uh, this is called Uzvar, and from what I understand, it's one of, it's a nas national Ukrainian beverage, and it's kind of like a custom to have it at Christmas Eve, from what I've seen. Now, I might be pronouncing that wrong again. It's a U-Z-V-A-R. It's not a margarita, no. Uh, it's a very sweet drink. You make it using dried apples and pears, raisins, prunes, and honey. 
and it just looks really good. It, it's not alcoholic. It's not alcoholic. I imagine you could make this alcoholic if you so chose. Um, but yes, we're going to try and make this. Uh, I've got most everything that I need for this. The one thing I couldn't find it was specifically dried pears. Apparently, they're just hard to get in Dublin. I, I checked a bunch of shops for that. But I do have some standard pears with me. Um, and I think if we just use them, but cook them a little bit less, I think it'll be okay. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna try and make this next. Um, and it's, this seems like quite a straightforward kind of drink to make. You just pop everything together. We have to uh, cover it with cold water for 10 minutes and rinse them. Add pears in the boiling water, cook for 20 minutes, then add apples, prunes, and raisins, cook for 15 minutes more. So I'm gonna cook the pears a little less because they're not dried. It's given extra time for the pears here, but these are fresh pears. So I'm gonna change that a little bit, try get this right. Then you add honey, bring to boil, set the pot aside. Beverage should rest, serve it cooled. Uh, yeah, the nice thing with this is because basically you're just infusing the drink, you actually get a lot of fruit afterwards that can be a nice side. So we're gonna have like a very nice dessert come the end of our Ukrainian apple cake. We're gonna have some uh, kind of stewed, kind of dried fruit all together, and we're gonna have a lovely uh, cup of us to sip on. So I think that's gonna be very sweet. Literally. <laughs> also, you've raised $33,000 now. Jesus Christ, guys. Insane. Thank you so much. Okay, we're gonna get started on this. I need to clean the space a little bit uh, and just pop some of this to the side. So let me do that first. I'm just gonna pop a lot of this in the sink for now. Because I think quantity wise, this one's actually pretty straightforward. So let me just like pop this out of the way. And I need to give the countertop just a little bit of a wash down. Uh, I'll wash that knife as well. I'm gonna need that one still. Warhammer 40k. <laughs> oh god. Uh, you've used you've raised so much, honestly. There's still two minutes if you'd like to enter that giveaway. Thank you so much to everyone who has. I don't think I need the flour or anything too, so I'm just I'm just setting this to like this side. Just cleaning up a little. It's a different set of stuff that we need now. We'll pop some of this just in the corner. I think we can get rid of that. <laughs> you're a good Irish lad. Ah, you're too kind. You are all good lads. Wherever you're coming from. 33,333. Oh, that's a significant milestone there, ain't it? Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting charity. Like, seriously. Like, you guys have done incredible. You've already raised so much. Goals that have been absolutely smashed, like, dramatically so. You're so good. And we still got one more thing to make. That's it. We're not done. Eh. Okay, let me just keep cleaning some space. Do you want an apple core? <laughs> Give it a good crunch! Yes, let's go! <laughs> the thing is, right, I could say that to, ch to chat about anything. Like... Do you want, like, the ceiling cap off the cream? <laughs> like, yes, absolutely. I would love that, thank you. I was hoping for that. Consume. <laughs> So I just need to give this a bit of a rinse down. This is going to be a bit awkward with my angles here. Okay. Take this. Hello. <laughs> I'm just trying get enough space to give this a proper clean. 
And I'm also aware I have a computer monitor right next to me and a camera. Come back to ASMRT. Okay. And the tap now. And we're gonna gently clean. Gently clean. Without our brush. You hear that scrubbing motion? Lovely. I have to like poke my head here to see what you're saying. <laughs> Oh shit, the giveaway! Hang on! Sorry, I was busy cleaning this. Who was the winner? It trickled down while I was doing- I was cleaning it. Who got it? Bill! Bill the runner! Congrats to you, Bill! Enjoy your new PS5 and Elden Ring copy! You're gonna have a great time, it's one of the best games made in recent years! Congrats to you! That's incredible! Yeah, thank you to everyone who entered there and just donated for charity as well. Like, it's going a long way. You're doing good in the world. It's hugely appreciated. Thank you again to Soft Given for, like, kind of organizing that as part of this. Bill Nye the science guy. <laughs> yeah, we've already hit the goal. Like, my god, it's incredible. Now! We're making us fair. But, if you stick around now, until the end of the stream, if you stick to the end, we got a little something more. Now you gotta wait until the very end, this is when we finish the Uzvar as well, okay? But if you stick around, we might have a little something. And you know, like, fuck it, you've done so well. I'll be ordering pizza when the stream ends, and I will post a picture of the pizza. So don't worry. You've done so well today, guys. You've earned your pizza. I'll post pictures in the Discord. You'll see it, don't worry. But stick around, because there's a little something more. Is the music okay too? Are the, are the audio levels alright? Y'all having a good time? You in the back, Mark? You okay? Someone called Mark now, who's really freaked out. Check on the oven just before we get started on this too, okay? It smells delicious here. I'm just gonna... Just want to take a little look at it, okay? Just a little peek. Oh! Oh, oh it's, sm it's smelling so good. The cinnamon has really come through. Um, it, like, it smells very nice, and like, the, the apples are caramelizing now as well. Still needs a bit more time, it's definitely not done, but it's smelling really nice. I gave it a sniff! Five minutes. Oh, I have a timer, don't worry. I have a timer on my end as well. Actually, it's not five minutes, it's a minute and a half! Okay, what we need... Now the nice thing with the Osvar, it does say, and I'm checking this, you can pop cinnamon in it, which we're going to do. 
Any chance I get for a bit more? Taking some more cinnamon. Okay. So, I need apples and pears. Apples. Uh, they conveniently had just like pre-sliced and dried apples, like in Tesco. It was perfect. Uh, I unfortunately could only find fresh pears, but we're gonna be okay. We'll make it work. Uh, I just need to see how many grams are in this. This is 300 grams, and it recommends 200, so we just take some of the apple out. And for the pears, it's recommended 300 grams. Uh, I don't have a scale. Does it say how much the pears weigh? My timer. A pair is about a hundred grams. That's what it's saying. Okay, so three pairs and then apple slices. Should be fine. I'm gonna quickly, just very quickly, use. I need. Actually, I, no. I need to take this out, and I'm gonna use the loop. Okay, let's uh. Do this. I need a grate to pop this on. Move this. Got these handy things. I'm gonna pop that there. And we need to check on this. Get it to 40k while he's gone. But well, you've already hit 34k, like Jesus. Doing pretty damn good. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna make the executive decision just to give it a few more minutes. Just a few more, okay? Uh, that will give. I'll just hop to the loo real quick, and I'll come back, and we should be fine. I think it just needs a little bit longer. You're gonna ruin it, Bob? Who the fuck is Bob? Okay, I'm gonna use the loo real quick. I'll be right back, and then we're back to Ozra, okay? Give me one second. I don't really have anything I can put on the stream for this because the setup's so weird. I'll be back in a mo. Wait, you're not Bob. Chloe, please. I'll be right back. Hello. 
We're back. Someone take the knife from the counter? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't play with knives. Just checking the timer. We got a minute and a half, so we'll just sit tight a moment. I'm gonna get some water in. Yeah? Ah. How y'all doing? Bob returns. Um, I don't like this. <laughs> My name's not Bob. Who's Bob? The music is intense. Yeah, how's the music been doing? It's supposed to be chill. Has it been chill? What's the mu what music is is playing at the moment? It's not chill. It's boss music. <laughs> that might be a bit much. Let me let me see if I can change that. <coughs> it's boss music. What do you listen? Let me see. Who's listening to? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Playlist. The Monster House? That's like the height of panic! <laughs> Why is that in here? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll hop on to some Donkey Kong. There we go. Is that better? Is that better? <laughs> Fucking monster house. But one of the most intense, like, panic music themes that you can possibly get. <laughs> You're gonna have a heart attack as, like, I'm just, like, making dessert. The timer is up. Okay. Time to get this out of the oven. Oh, so good. Okay, now I want to show it to the camera, but it's also very hot right now. So I'm gonna just let it cool a moment and then I'll give you the close up, okay? It's alarmingly hot, but I think it's done. Okay? You might be able to kind of see it from here. I'm not, I'm not gonna fuck about this, it's very hot right now. Okay? Well, you'll get a sniff of it soon. But you gotta bear with me. Don't joke about it when we're cooking. Because, you know, there's actually stuff that can go wrong. <laughs> Take a bite. No, it's very, very hot right now. Oh. There's a lot of apple in that. There's a lot of apple. I kind of almost want to douse it in like a chocolate sauce or something, but I don't think it needs that. I think it's already sweet enough. It looks good. Waft aggressively. Like, I'm sending it to you, chat! <laughs> Take the smell! <laughs> the prize is smells! <laughs> For the, for the next uh, incentive, you're going to be able to sniff the cake we make. smell vision is finally here and enabled on Twitch. In case you thought you smelled something bad earlier, I apologize I farted. You wouldn't know if I actually farted on the stream. Okay. Um... Say that. Okay. We're gonna need a big pop. Big pop time. And to do I need to give my knife a little wash. There we go. I think we get a fresh towel now too. Yeah. Farsi lame? It's 
bit mean, guys. <laughs> For being called Pop. <sighs> Ban that man. <laughs> uh, my washing machine is behind that door, so I don't really know what to toss this right now. Just, just leave it precariously there. Washing my hands again. Laundry stream. Open the door. I can't because the green screen's there. I can't. Why is your washing machine next to your kitchen? It's apartment life, ain't it? My dryer's behind that green screen. <laughs> it's apartment living, ain't it? But it suits me fine. Because I don't need a lot of space. It's very cozy. Um, okay. So how are we starting with this? Let me get the recipe back up. Yep, so we can turn off the oven now, I think. I think we're done with that for the time being. So I need to cover the dried fruits with cold water for 10 minutes, then rinse them. Um, I wonder how I do this, because the pears need to go in separate. Okay, so if I do pears in one bowl, everything else in the other, um, and then I just let them both sit in cold water for 10 minutes. Yeah. And then we just rinse them off. So you just gotta let them soak a little bit. Okay, I mean, the first one's actually real easy to do because they're just popping everything in. Need some scissors. Still waiting for the clean in stream. I gave you the clean in stream. That was the Mario Kart one. That was also my apartment tour stream. There's a lot of apple and cinnamon in this, but it's so good. <laughs> a little bit more. Little bit less. I'm basically making it so there's about a third of the bag left in here. And that should be approximately 200 grams. Okay, so that goes in there. Um, I need 250 grams of honey. That's a lot of honey. Well, no, I don't, I don't need that yet. I need 100 grams of raisins. I have raisins. It should be, should be about this cup. Gotta, gotta wash it. <laughs> hey Julie, how you doing? There we go. Bob, the cake, the cake's fine. Why do you have so many raisins? I love raisins. Raisins are really good for you. Super rich in fiber. Love them. Raisin, I'm a, like a raisin and banana man. Those are like the two that like I gravitate towards. Oh, it's just a bit hard to get out. Grapes are better. I prefer raisins myself. I've always just been a fan of them. You know, when, like you're in school, because like, I think it's even the same brand, like the, yeah, it's like the natural California ones. Like you get like a little box of it or something with your lunch. Oh, I got hooked in them back in the day. No, they're, they're really good for you. I'd recommend raisins. Okay. Um, it doesn't feel like enough in comparison to the apples. God, if only I had a scale right about now. I think if I just pop some... 
Pop some more of that in. Okay, we need prunes. I was able to find some prunes. 34 and a half K, my god guys. So good. Everyone's done incredible. Like thank you so much everyone. Okay, prunes, I need 200 grams of these. Conveniently, the bag is 200 grams. So just dunk this in. Oh, get a whiff of that now. Get a whiff of that. Oh, it's very pungent. Pop them in. Oh. Prunes are basically just big raisins. <laughs> like shape and texture in there. Oh, that's gonna be good. Okay, uh, now I need the pears. So, I just diced them a bit, I think, and I should be all right. Are they the same fruit, Dad? They might as well be. They're close enough. One, two, I think we take three pears. That should be enough pear to pop in this. And then we just need to let it all soak in cold water for a little while. Uh, I'll peel these as well. It probably just makes sense to do it that way. Where did I leave my peeler? Uh... I'm gonna have to wash it. <laughs> ASMR dishes stream. Don't peel. You don't peel pears, do you not? Oh, okay, if I don't peel pears, then I won't. I just assume because we did it for the apples. But we're kind of improv it a little bit, because they're supposed to be dried pears, but I couldn't find them. Just cut pears. Grand. Okay. All right, we'll get the core out again, then. We'll get rid of that, at least. That makes sense. You can peel if you want, but they're quite soft anyway. Uh, I, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go with the skin off. Come on. Why not? I think it'll be okay. Don't have to soak the pears, they aren't dried. Oh yeah, that's why you'd soak them, isn't it? Thank you for pointing that out, yeah. They're not dried at all, yeah. Okay, uh, I won't do that then. Yeah, we, we, we have to improv it just a little bit because I couldn't find dried pears specifically. But yeah, no, there's probably no reason, reason to soak them in cold water, is there? Okay, well, let me soak this in cold water because I have to do that. Make sure it's cold. Tap ASMR. It's gonna take a second. There we go. Oh. There we go. So we just let that sit for 10 minutes. Set my timer.
Uh, Apple Crumble View in time. It's cooled enough where I think I can hold, like, with the mints, I'll be okay. Yeah, let's have a, let's have a look, see at this. Cause we gotta wait ten minutes anyway. All right. <sighs> look at that. Look at that. It's quite nice. I'm excited for it. It's gonna be nice having this with a drink too. I think you want a drink with it. Get the impression of like milk or something creamy with it. You probably have a whipped cream, honestly. But yeah, that looks that looks real good. I'm excited to try that. I don't like how people keep saying cream now. <laughs> I brought that on myself. Uh, Street Slide gives five dollar. Hi, Bob. Uh, Red Panda, thank you for the love heart. Uh, Coin Man Sam, Slava uh, Ukraini, thank you very much. Slump, thank you for five dollars. Uh, Robobo, thank you for twenty-five dollars. Thank you to everyone who's continuing to support charity here. It's incredible, obviously, you've done so much good. Uh, Liana, thank you for twenty-five quid, just right there. I think the alerts are a little bit backlogged, popping up on the stream as well, aren't they? Gorman was like Gorman, thank you very much there. You've done so much. You've done so much. I, it's been constant, like right there, right there, hasn't it? Like an alert. It's insane. Absolutely incredible. Are you going on to the news? No, I, I, I'm baking. Where's that question coming from? I don't know. I'll see you at the six o'clock. We want a dry reveal. No, you, you really don't. You really don't. I do like, like the, you think you do, but you're wrong. Bad PR for your company to say something like that. Anna, good to see you here. Oh, uh, no, uh, thank you for doing this as well, like, Jesus. Like, I was talking to Kevin a fair bit and setting this up, and, like, I know yourselves have done, like, the same cause here. So I was like, I, I, I've joined on. Thanks for everything you've been doing, like, all the charity streams. Like, Jesus, like, Anna's been a trooper. She's done, like, you've done, like, eight streams or something now at this point, haven't you? You've done loads. I'm just faffing about in my kitchen. <laughs> No, thank you for everything you've done, though. Seriously, it's great to have you here. I hope you're keeping well. I'm just gonna slice these up a little bit. When are you revealing the inside of your pantry? I gotta sort the inside out of my pantry. It's, uh, it's a bit of a mess right now. It is stocked full of baked goods, uh, copious amounts of stuff for noodles, and like rice and pasta. There's like a jar just of tomato sauce, and then there's like copious amounts of alcohol. Too much. Like alcohol? Turning 27 in a month, in, in a month, guys. The month today, April 13th. Oh, we also, Jesus, yeah, we hit, um, wait, no, 34, we haven't hit 35k yet, but we're halfway there, sorry. I said that. You get an old man. I don't need this slander. <laughs> I don't need this now. See, I know, I know I'm getting old as well. The other day I was looking up for like, um... Oh, what is it I need to get? 
I wanted like a new like kind of dishwashing brush and that, just so I have like a backup one. Um, and I got excited about it. I'm just not the man I thought I was anymore. The good days are all behind me. God. In my head, it's still, like, the start of 2020, and it has been for the last two years. It's been two years of this. Matt, I, I, I feel like I never turned 25, let alone 26, let alone soon 27. I think that's a lot of us, like, like it's just been weird. Life this last while. Wait until you get excited about cardboard boxes, then you know you're old. Oh, Jesus. All ahead of me. Okay, that is almost there. Uh, I'm gonna need this to drain it. I think my timer is almost done. Three more minutes. Okay, I'm gonna see what I need to do next after this. Add the pears into boiling water and cook for 20 minutes. So, I'm going to say we do that less, uh, a bit less, in terms of time. Just because it might be too much. Two liters of water is the measurement. Uh, the best way I can do that is eight of these. That's boiling water. How much does my kettle fill, actually? Max is 1.7, so if I just fill the kettle and then fill it a little bit again. That should be enough. God damn, thank you for the 1500 bits there. Should, full disclaimer as well, like anything that's like subs and bits that comes in this stream, I'll donate at the end. Um, just in case money's gone away, you know, it's for charity. I don't profit off this. Um, you got excited for fridge magnets though. <laughs> I have, look, I have some cool magnets, hang on. All right. Unfortunately, my fridge is not magnetic on the on the outside. Look at these. I got these as a Christmas present for my dear old mum. And like, you might recognize poor old Georgie here. Um, this is my cat, Sooty. Um, uh, we had Sooty, like, it would have been much further back in the day. He sadly passed away. I think it was about 2013, 2014, thereabouts. But he's a very good boy. These are my babies, and I got them immortalized. They're on the Lego cabinet over there, because that's the only magnetic space I have. But the damn cool magnets. Yeah, George, George is very missed, and you know, I miss Sooty as well. Sooty was a very grumpy black cat, and we named him that because he ran up the chimney the first day we got him. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Yeah, they're good cats. Keeping an eye on this. Um, I'm gonna need to clear some more space because we're gonna start boiling soon, which means I'm actually gonna need the, the hob. Turn that on. Move the pears. Put the cinnamon away. Let's put the cinnamon away. For good luck! For good luck. Stop getting high, it's cinnamon. It's cinnamon. Geez, he's got a bit of a problem now. Stop puffing cinnamon. I need to clear a bit more space. Uh, okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm just moving this to the side for a moment. I'm gonna pop this on the chair here. Let's give that a bit of a wipe down. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to use this hob here um, for the next bit. So I'm gonna boil the pears on their own with the two liters. I'm gonna say for 10 minutes because they're not dried pears and they won't take as long to go. 
and then we just kind of go on from there. Uh, I'm gonna fill the kettle now and get my boiling water. Relaxing kettle scents. Fill it a little more. Yeah, that's good. Ooh. Let's wipe that down a bit. Sprayed a little, unfortunately. Can you smell what the game is cooking? <laughs> I think if I ever went into like WWE or something like that, like, I'd be like, I'd be like the lamest person there. Like, the, sm the spindly can Knievel, that would be me. And I'd just be trying to like kind of hide by the ropes or something and just stay out of the way. It's like, oh, please don't hurt me. I'd be like the punching bag for a lot of other characters, like actual Rise to Glory. You be lame, you're a streamer. <laughs> you're just straight to the fucking point, aren't you? You're stupid. You're a nerd. Yeah. Okay, let's boil the kettle. I'm gonna reuse this pot. I think as well, yep. This is the best one just for boiling it. Oh, perfect! This has liter measurements on the inside. Can you guys really hear the kettle right now? <laughs> ASMR. Uh, I need the lid for my kettle. Well, no, not the kettle, for that pot. Uh, where is it? That would work. We've got to get a lid for this. I don't know where I went. There it is. We good. You might have heard the ice cream van outside too. <laughs> this mic is much more sensitive just because of the way we have to record this. It's a very different setup. Uh, Gingy Berry, thank you for $50. Thank you very much. May as well, thank you for $25. Uh, Shiffle, thank you for $25 as well. John, thank you for $5. William, thank you for $25. Thank you very much, everyone. Get us ice cream, Dad. I just chased him down with like the apple cake. It's like this would go perfect with this. This is going to be a bit messy, so I have to pour this into this while also crouched and huddled over this monitor and between the camera. It's okay, we're almost there. Draining this is actually going to be the most dangerous part of this entire thing, I think. Just because the setup's a bit tight on space. But we'll be fine. Professional stream. How have all the cooking streams been this fucked? But nothing's gone wrong! Nothing's gone wrong with this one! What are you talking about? It's going well! Dad, when will dinner be ready? Well, I'm making some dessert right now, but I thought for dinner... We could have some chicken Kiev. I bought that purely for that joke. Cause it's the Ukraine!
How do you live with yourself? <laughs> Happily. Okay, uh, I need to drain this now. It's gonna be a little funky looking. Ooh. Mainly just transferring this. Because I don't really have a good space to set this down. Okay. I just drain some of the water, maybe. Hey, it's a Mara streamer. Just gonna take my time. Getting a nice side profile of my face. Look at that jawline. Okay, I've drained a lot of the water. So now I can pour this a little more freely. Last of it out. The raisins don't want to go. Yeah. Almost there. There we go. For it a little bit, that's okay. Set that to a side, that's drained. We're good, now we need two liters of boiling water. Uh, I need to work out, how much do I need to put this? It's boiling water, I just need to keep it boiling. Okay, uh, I pop the pears in first maybe, hang on. Ooh. I'm gonna set the rest of it in gently later because that's gonna be safest because otherwise I'm pouring too much into like a pot of boiling water and that's like you know it's just gonna splash everywhere. Let's do that. We're almost at 35k. There's still one more surprise in the wings too. We got one more thing and once I think that this is boiling and set up maybe I'll announce what it is okay. Once we add that into it, because that's most, that's most of the work here, okay? Give me one sec. We got something else still. You eat it all of this, well, I'm gonna share it with friends. I'm, there's no way I could have all this. That'd be too much. Okay. Oil and water. Okay, and I need to just go a little bit more. Need a little bit more water. Relaxing kettle ASMR. Unlock the stove. There you go. On the right hop. Will Gilbert get a plate? No. <laughs> no. How? Well, no, because you have a. It's like a safety set, and you can lock the stove so you don't accidentally turn it on. How? Why is everyone saying how? What? Safety? Okay, I don't know 
do I cover it? I might just keep it open top. I don't think I actually need the lid. The music is off? What's the music? That one Earth Band song was playing. It's a May May? Why is the guy singing again? Wait, what are you listening to? Hang on. What are you talking about? I'm gonna change it to smooth jazz. What? Smooth jazz? Oh Jesus Christ, we're at 35k. Foley and Babel, thank you for the hundred dollars each. Jesus. Marina, thank you for 25 as well. Cheery, thank you for 25. My god. 35 grand. That's insane. That's so good. Okay, here. A little bit more boiling water. There we go. That stove is definitely on. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for it to bubble a bit, and then I'm gonna start a timer for 10 minutes, okay? Actually, it's already bubbling, okay. Start one for 10 minutes, and then we let that for 10, go for 10 minutes, and then we toss everything in after that for 15 minutes, okay? And then afterwards we... It's just add honey at the end. Okay. This one seems very straightforward. Then it's just honey and water and you just throw in all the, like, the fruit. At least use the green screen for something. You're not even gonna get a good green screen effect though, because it's like, it's only a portion. If I move here, I break the illusion. Let me do like a green screen stream from poor angle. <laughs> I can't move the camera because if I move the camera then like everything's fucked. You can communicate via echolocation? What does that mean? <laughs> Just put a different kitchen in the green screen. <laughs> I put like a nicer kitchen. This is where I wish I was making this meal. <laughs> but, like Photoshop like like a disapproving Gordon Ramsay into it or something. Fix it in post. <laughs> it's not even that green, it's kind of dark looking over there. Pairs get stuck. Very strong pear scent. I don't think I've ever bought pears like this before. How to donate? If you type exclamation point charity, you'll get the donation page that you need. Um, also, if you look at the about tab of the stream, there's a big old button uh, right there. And you can click on that to donate. Thank you to everyone who has already donated. Like cares uh, Ukraine uh, crisis fund. Like you, you've done incredible. We raised three and a half times the amount we originally set out to do, and we've been streaming like what three hours? Like that—that that is insane. You've done so much good. Will this be a YouTube video? Um, I mean, I, 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 I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Hello, potential YouTube audience, if you're there. Um, if it does make it to YouTube, though, um, like, I'll do what I did for the previous kind of charity streams where any ad revenue that comes off that video also gets donated into it. Um, you know, because it's for charity. That's, that's the point that we're here. Huh. 
Hi, YouTube. <laughs> It'll be uploaded to YouTube, but chat will be censored. And it's just disapproving Gordon Ramsay on the right side of the stream the entire time. Here, I'm gonna make that... I think I do use the lid. I'm gonna boil a bit faster if I do that. I want it to boil. This is almost cooled down and good to have now. I'm excited. You cannot silence us. I think you overestimate your power. <laughs> Your fire alarm gives $25. Good fun and helping a nice cause. Don't burn your kitchen. <laughs> Thanks, smoke alarm. <laughs> what do you think you're fucking doing? Don't do it. Okay, that's, that's boiling a lot more now, yeah. I think popping the lid on is the best way to do it. $35,000 worth of power says otherwise. <laughs> Cooking Vama is proud of you, Dan. Thank you. I'm proud of you, Because you are the ones doing all the good here today. I'm just making you dinner. <laughs> no, I mean, this This has honestly been very fun and wholesome. Like, I'm having a great time. I guess it's a wonderful idea, like, a good way of doing it. We need to do more bacon streams like this. I need to show you how to make some chocolate chip cookies another day. I think that'd be good fun. No, I, I mean, I've absolutely been loving this, and like... You know, it, it's been just a lot of fun, and like, we've done a lot of good. Um, you know, it's like, it's the best of both worlds, ain't it? In case you wonder why I'm always looking down at this corner as well, that's because that's where the monitor is, and that's where I see chat. So I'm just reading. Do the chocolate chip cookie stream for your birthday. Maybe, I'll see how, I, I, mean, I might not be here for my birthday. I might be going to see my loving family. <laughs> because geez, like the last two years of birthdays, like it's, it's just been me. <laughs> no, you can't. We are your loving family. <laughs> I'll just show up at my family home. It's like, yeah, there's like several thousand people here. Can we all get pizza? My fiance is Ukrainian and the support really warms our heart. I'm very glad. I, I hope you have enjoyed the stream. I apologize if I got any of the cuisine a bit wrong. I'm excited to try this. I'm doing my best. I'm trying not to fuck it up. It's honestly been good fun. Like, the, the cake looks delicious. I cannot wait to try that. Cannot wait. Okay, let me see how we're doing on the timer. Two and a half more minutes. Okay, in two and a half more minutes, it's time for the big final treat. Outside of me ordering pizza light. But there's one more thing. And we're gonna Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna show what it is. Once this goes in there, okay? A third pizza. <laughs> the notifications finally caught up to the PS5. Like that's it. You guys have been so overwhelmed. Like the notifications are like half an hour behind. Because you've given so much to charity. You know, like that... That's crazy. Isn't it? You've done so much support that like, it's only now up to where the PS5 donations were. Uh, when we were running like the giveaway there. Again, thank you to Soft Given for that. We're on 35,340. That's pretty damn good. I 
And, you know, and there's still some time, and that's not to count any potential YouTube video donations that come through as well. I'll be making a donation after this as well for anything like subs and bits that came through. Um, so I'll add some more to it. Is the music stopped? The music should still be going. I see it. I see it, my end. Uh, Zimni, thank you for a hundred dollars. Thank you so much. George, George Eater gives a hundred as well. Hurry up, Dad, we're starving. <laughs> it's cooking. You gonna burn yourself like a sim? No. I've burnt myself like a sim. I wouldn't recommend it. Make it cook faster. It's fucking bubbling! I can't make it go any faster! Ah, oh, god almighty. Can we get McDonald's? McDonald's doesn't serve pizza. What are you talking about? Of course you can't. Let me see. You should make cupcake aprons. That would be very cute, honestly. I borrowed this one from Cake Jumper. Uh, you might have seen me wearing it before in the uh, when we made Colin the Caterpillar cake on her channel. She's a good egg. Okay, timer is up. Okay, I have to add everything else, and then we cook for 15 more minutes. Okay, so we need to be careful here because this is still boiling water. The main thing is we simply take our time, okay? Little bit of sizzle, that's all right. A little bit of sizzle. It's okay, it's just a little bit of water that was like in, like trapped by the apples. Just fell out on the stove. It's all good. It's all good. There we go. Okay. And we recover that. And we're all good. What's your favorite foreign cuisine item you've ever had? Ooh. I mean, probably... Oh, what's the name for it in Japan? But like, pork cutlet? It's just really good. I went to like a lot of Japanese restaurants when I was living in Tokyo. Tonkatsu, that's it, thank you. Couldn't remember it for the life of me. Katsu? No, is it ka Katsudon? I think it's Katsudon. Or Katsu. Katsudon. That's the one. Ponkatsu is that in the ramen, ain't it? Or Katsudon. Yeah, that, that, that would have been one of my favorite comfort foods. And there was like a restaurant in Ueno um, when I lived there, and it was on like the third floor and kind of overlooking like the entrance of the park. Uh, and I would just kind of sit there, kind of with the window view and like just watch the world go by as I like, have dinner and that. I'd always bring my laptop when I was there too. Um, and I remember like a lot of days where it's like, cause there used to be a point on YouTube where I had to script my videos. Shout out to those old TF2 days. Um, but I would go there when I was working on my video scripts and I would have dinner and I would just stay for like, like an hour or two and work on the script. And like, I, I kind of like in later, like kind of year, Time in Tokyo, I would just go there and I would just like have a notepad with me and I'd be writing down stuff that I want to stream. It sounds so peaceful, it was. It was, no, absolutely. Do you miss living in Japan? I do. I, I, I'd i live there forever if I could and if it wasn't so far away from everyone. I love Dublin, but like I love Tokyo a lot too. I do miss it. But Wayne knows where I spent most of my time when I was living there. Do you speak Japanese, Dad? Not a word of it. No. <laughs> I tried. I really tried. I'm very bad at languages, unfortunately. I learned enough to get by, and, you know, so I was fine. Okay, I was able to live there a year. Ooh. 
What script have I been following then? Oh no, I wrote all this down, don't worry. I'll chat's pre-recorded it. Chat's pre-recorded, don't worry. Will you learn Japanese? I wanna try learning it again. I, I really wanna head back to Japan, I think. Um, if not this year, then next year. I, I think this year's still a bit iffy because travel regulations and that are still a thing there. Um, they're not as open as the rest of the world yet. But hopefully, hopefully, I, I would love to go back. You know, I really want to. Uh, the most travel I'm gonna be doing this year, and some of the big things, uh, TwitchCon. I'm gonna be in Amsterdam. And I'm going to be in San Diego for the States one, too. I'm going to be going to both of them. Uh, so if anyone happens to be going to a TwitchCon yourselves, come say hey. Uh, I'm going to try and organize meet and greets at them. But yeah, I'll be, I'll be going with the TwitchCons. I cannot wait for them. Amsterdam. <laughs> Guys, what page are we on in the script? I'm still on the Chicken Kiev joke. <laughs> We're past that! Flip forward! Flip forward! <laughs> Jesus, we need to get new extras. These ones are a bit slow. Yeah, that's quite hot, so I'm gonna use this just to lift the lid off. There's a very full pot right now. I got hungry and I ate my script. Oh! Okay. I know, I just... I realized I just forgot. Final incentive. The cheeky treat. That we have in store. Thanks for reminding me where we were in the script. I forgot myself there. I've just, just been ad-libbing it this entire time. Give me one sec. Give me one sec, give me one sec. Okay, another one sec. A mysterious stranger just gave $400. Thank you so much. That's incredibly kind. Okay, give me one sec. Give me one sec, I have a treat for you. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Okay, so. Courtesy of Soft Given as thank you for people supporting charity today, uh, we have one final giveaway. Um, just as a way of saying thank you for people who are supporting charity here. Uh, like Care UK Ukraine a Crisis Funds appeal. Um, in the previous two giveaways, we had one for a Nintendo Switch with a copy of Pokemon Legends Arceus. And we had one for a PlayStation 5 with a copy of Elden Ring. For this final giveaway, you can win both of those. <laughs> this is a brand new Nintendo Switch with a copy of Pokemon Legends Arceus, a PlayStation 5 digital console, and a copy of Elden Ring all together. Uh, anyone who donates a dollar in the next 10 minutes will get an entry into the giveaway. If you donate over $25, your entry will count as two per dollar. Uh, this is like a final little one that we have. Thank you so much to everyone who supported charity. We're gonna start this one right now. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho It's kinda mad. It's the last one of the night. A very big prize. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, I, I, it, it's insane that they offered like that much just for like for doing the charity stream. You know, like they they genuinely did not have to, but it's just such a wonderful incentive. Yeah, you have ten minutes to enter. It's a very big prize. It's the last one of the night. So, PlayStation 5, a brand new Nintendo Switch, Pokemon Legends, Arceus, and Elden Ring, all together. 
That's pretty damn good. And you know, it's for a good cause as well. Like, thank you so much everyone, seriously. Don't worry if you're all spent out with a like or something like that at this point in the stream, it's completely understandable. This is just a final little thing that we have for one final push in the stream. And again, they did not have to do any of this tonight. Incredibly kind of them. And it's incredibly kind of you guys that should be supporting, again, Care Ukraine Crisis Relief in the fund. Uh, you guys have done so much good. Jesus fucking Christ, that's moving quick. You guys are way too good. Oh my god, it's... You raised $37,000 now. Oh my god. That's moving quick. This is the final one of the night too. Final one of the night. If you've been on the fence tonight, and like you haven't donated or something like that, but you've been wanting to, now is the best time to do it, honestly. If you've already donated, thank you so much already. And I hope you've been enjoying the stream tonight. We're still gonna have our delicious dessert in, in a few minutes as well. It's almost done here. Thank you so much to each and every one of you for everything you've done though today. Like seriously, you've done so much good already. You've now raised $40,000. Oh my god. Thank you so much, everyone. Seriously, like, ah, uh, like, you're incredible. 41 grand. <laughs> I'm looking at the donation ticker alert, and it's a goddamn elevator. <laughs> Seriously, like, anything, like, you donate, like, it, do it does good. Uh, like, CARE is working in the Ukraine to provide humanitarian relief. Things like emergency food, emergency medical supplies, and water. Uh, specifically targeting people who are still remaining in the Ukraine during this time of conflict. And like, anything that you can give is greatly appreciated. And uh, thank you for your support. Seriously, like, thank you so much, guys. That's yeah, overwhelming how much is coming in. 43 grand. 43 grand. 44 grand. Oh my god. I'm truly blessed to have a community like this. Like, I really am. It's good to see it's just kind of come out in storm, like, when, you know, times when it matters. For, like, causes for good like this. It's like, seriously, guys. And, like, like, massive thanks to you. Of course, big thanks as well, like, you know, Kevin and Anna for putting me in touch with the soft-given lads. And, like, soft-given themselves for providing, like, you know, just all, all the incentives just for the support and charity. Like, they really didn't have to do it. It's so kind of them. Makes it a bit fun, you know? If only get five band, hope, hope it helps. It absolutely does. Like, do, never worry, like, if it's enough when you're given the charity. Any good you can do is good. It's greatly appreciated. Like, you didn't max out your credit card. Like, no. <laughs> That's not what it's about. How big or small the gesture, like, it's hugely appreciated. It's taking part in contributing and supporting a good cause, that's what matters. 46 grand, Jesus. Jesus Christ. That's so much. Love from Newfoundland, Dad. Oh, we got a new fee. Thank you very much. Hope you're keeping well back there. Beautiful part of Canada. Oh my god. <laughs> 47 grand. 47,000 dollars. That's insane. You're so, all so good. You're so good. My god. How are we doing on the time for this as well? I gotta not get too distracted. It's a bit overwhelming just looking over here right now. Uh, we still have five minutes. Okay. Look for 15 minutes more. 
Water, I, I added the right amount of water, it's two liters. Add the honey and bring it to boil and set the pot aside. The beverage should rest, serve, cooled. So the honey is 250 grams, I think. Just have a jar, a little thing of honey here. Uh, there's 340 in this, so like about there. Should be good. Forty-seven and a half thousand dollars. Oh my god. What am I making? I am making uh, Uzvar. Uh, from what I understand, it is a national Ukrainian beverage. Uh, it's commonly served at Christmas. And I, can de I can definitely see the Christmas vibe because it's a, it's a very sweet drink. Uh, main ingredients are like kind of uh, apple, pear, raisin, and prune. And then you chuck in some honey with it. Very sweet. It kind of reminds me of like a customer's like mulled wine or something like that. Like, like definitely with preparation wise. A bit similar, ain't it? Yeah, I just thought it'd be something sweet and something nice to go with the wonderful cake that we made earlier. Oh, this is cool to now as well. I can actually hold this. Look. In case you missed it earlier. Uh, this is Ukrainian apple cake. Uh, the name for it that I have continually pronounced wrong is Yabloknik, I believe. Yabloknik? Something of that accord. But it looks really good and I'm excited to have some of it. $48,500. Jesus. Oh my god, you're actually very close to 50k. You're about a grand off. That's insane. Thank you so much everyone who's donated, seriously. That's like smashing any expectation we had for the stream. Like our target, our target was $10,000. You know, like that's like a best case scenario. Holy shit, I can't believe we did it kind of thing. We're a grand off. 50. That's insane. These are all so good. There's still two minutes left for that giveaway. Exclamation point charity, if you would like to enter. There's two minutes left if you want a chance to win. Thank you again to Softgiven for providing for that. Has anyone ever said you look kinda like Luigi? I take that as a compliment. Luigi's a cool lad. 49 grand. My god. Thank you so much, everyone. Jesus Christ. There's so much support and like just so much going towards like a good cause. Like, thank you so much, everyone. Fucking blown away. Apologies if I'm swearing a lot. I'm not supposed to when it's a charity stream, but I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna give this a bit of a mix. Hang up. Ooh. Ooh, that's bubbling away. There's gonna be a lot of veg alongside this. I'm excited to see how, what happens when the honey goes in. Ooh, Ooh that hurt a lot. Oh, sorry, fruit, yeah. Y you know what I mean. Like, oh, the Brussels sprouts are going well in this drink. We're gonna get some Russell juice in. There's 30 seconds left on it. Jesus Christ. It's actually incredible how much people have raised. Like, thank you so much, guys. Like, we're just shy of $50,000. That's so much money for charity. Okay, it's counting down. It's counting down. This is it. This is it. Oh. Congrats to, I think it's Colonel Mustard? I think it is, and a lot of numbered characters. <laughs> Congrats to you, man. New Nintendo Switch. Pokemon Legends Arceus. A PlayStation 5. A copy of Elden Ring. Enjoy it. Thank you for supporting charity. You don't deserve it. Thank you so much to everyone who donated there. 
My god. Like, we're just shy of 50 grand now, that's so much money. That's an incredible amount raised. Thank you so much. It was Colonel Mustard in the kitchen with the charity donation. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's so much. Thank you so much, guys. Are they in chat? They're here somewhere. They're here somewhere. They gotta be floating about if they entered. I, th I hope. <laughs> like, nah, I went home. Thank you so much. Jesus. They're here. Yeah, there they are. They're floating about there. Congrats to you, man. We see you. We see you. <laughs> Congrats to you. Enjoy it. I, I, soft giving folks will work on getting that out to you as soon as possible, as along with our other prize winners tonight. That's the last one. I hope, like, I hope you've enjoyed those. Just a bit of extra incentive for supporting a good cause, and like a way of saying thank you. Incredibly kind of them, they did not have to do it. Thank you so much to everyone who's given tonight, like seriously. We're almost done here, we're almost done. I don't know if we're gonna be able to try this one on stream, because I think it's gonna need to cool a while. I think we kinda have to wait though, we have to try it on stream, don't we? I wanna see what it tastes like, I, I, I could just, I'll pour a glass. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to pour a glass till it cools down. Maybe if I pop it in the fridge, I can make it cool a little quicker. Maybe. Might have to wait a, a, a moment or two. But we will try some of the cake in the meanwhile while that's cool, okay? We have to try it. We have to try it. I can't pop it in my freezer, unfortunately. I have a very small freezer. It won't fit that pot. And I can't really pour it out of that pot because, you know, it's not the ideal thing for pouring, and it, it's literally boiling water right now. Taste test time. <laughs> okay, let's see. How we're doing on our time. 50 seconds, and it should be time for the honey. Don't forget pizza. I'll be ordering pizza. Don't worry, and I'll take a picture of that when pizza arrives for you. I'll do that off stream, because I think that's just a smarter way of doing it. Might cause a bit of an issue. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just waiting for someone to call at my home. What I will do. You can't end the stream until all the donation alerts have shown. I don't... That's gonna be a very long time. Oh, Kelly gave a hundred dollars way early. Thank you so much, Kelly. Best baker, Daniel. You're too sweet. Oh my god, you've done so much good. Absolutely smashed it. Like, it's almost five times the amount that we set out to raise today. That's so much. It's a curse of a song where he can't leave. <laughs> oh god. I think if I ever did a sub song, I'd probably do it for charity, honestly. I think it's just a better way of doing it. It feels weird just kind of like... I don't know, I've always felt a bit weird about the concept of a subathon where it's like, give me money to keep streaming, you know? Doesn't seem right to me. Because, you know, like that that's like something that's like something on this platform where like people do it out of the kindness of the heart, and like, I don't I don't like asking for that. You know? I don't mind asking for charity, I'll promote that shamelessly. If it's for a good cause like charity, by all means, I'm gonna fucking ask you. You know, because we're trying to do some good in the world. But, like, I don't think I'd do it personally, you know? I don't think I need to. I'm fortunate enough in life for that, I think. I think the counter broke. No, the counter's still going. The counter's still going. Okay. I think this is ready. I think this is ready. Yes, it is. My timer stopped itself by accident. Okay, so, we gotta add the honey now. We're exactly $400 off, that's kinda wild. Ooh. Ooh, that smells so good. Ooh, very sweet. 
We like sweet here. Okay, I'm gonna pop in, I have to pop in two, about 250 of honey. So about to there. I'm gonna try and measure this out best I can. I have to break the seal on this too. Onion, thank you for $50 for the people. Thank you very much. Griffix, Silas, Waddle, uh, Nosley, thank you very much all for, for all your donations. Thank you to everyone who's given tonight. I apologize I've not been able to read them all. It's it, it's overwhelming. There's been so much. Okay. Honey time. Ooh, look at that. Bow. And let's put in just a little extra. Just a little extra. Very tempted to do the whole bottle. <laughs> no. About that, I think, is good. Okay, and I gotta bring it to a boil again. Just mix in the honey a little. Oh, that honey's made it a lot richer all of a sudden. Like, it's got like, kind of like a dark color to it now. It looks very good. This is like a proper dessert sweet drink. That's too much honey? No, I mean, it called for about 250 mil. We're not far off that. Bean, thank you for five dollars. Thank you very much. I gotta bring that to a boil again. This is so hot. Woo! Cozy. Oh, Jesus Christ. A few donations just came in there. Annie with $10. Babel with a very generous $350. Robin with $25 as well. $50,000. That's insane! You did it! Jesus Christ, guys! Chat's getting pizza tonight. No, but seriously. Thank you so much, everyone. That's five times the amount we set out to raise. Like, that's an astounding amount in such a short span of time. You guys have all done so good today. Thank you so much, everyone. Like, my God. That's, that's, in, that's incredible. Thank you so much, guys. Like, serious, I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss for words. Let's go over 100k. No. <laughs> you've had enough. Seriously, you've done a lot of good, though. Like, thank you so much. That's gonna be like a lot of humanitarian aid. I, I don't know what to say. Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, guys. It's been incredible. Oh my God. Double or nothing. It's already five times the amount we set out to get. It's pretty damn good. Is this the most we've ever- we, we've raised? I mean, I, it's not a contest when it's charity, honestly. You've raised a lot, though. You've raised an awful lot in a short span of time. You know? It's insane. Could you put the Ukrainian flag on the green screen? The thing is, I would like to, but I think because of the light and it's not green enough, so like... The colors, like, might not come out right. We have for the overlay up here that it's Ukrainian colors. So that's at least something. I just need to see how long this is supposed to boil. Because I'm worried if it boils too long, I'm going to make syrup. And that's going to be... A dicey one. Just one sec. 
set aside and rest. Okay. Oven off. Set aside. Just move it off that stove. Okay, it's made. It's made. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this. It's very hot right now. I don't know if I have a utensil for it. Like, I can show you an apple slice. <laughs> I mean, it looks absolutely delicious. I'm going to have to wait for that to cool for quite some time. This is absolutely roasting right now. I don't think I can pop that in the fridge just yet. I think it's too hot to put in the fridge. That would probably affect other things right now. I'm gonna like, leave that to cool for a while. And what I say we do is because I promised chat that I'll be ordering pizza in my life because that is a thing we do for some reason. When I have the pizza, I'll have a glass of that as well, okay? Use a ladle. Uh, I don't think I have a ladle to hand, unfortunately. Scoop a cup out. Um, I don't think I have a ladle. I'm just checking. Like, that'd be the most divot that I have. It's dicey. Yeah, I might be able to. I'll, I'll try, okay? Give me one moment. A bit dicey. But, bear with me. Bear with me, right? I'll try. Wonderful snap mug. <laughs> I want to get a lot of the liquid if I can. Ooh. That looks so good. A lot of fruit in it. It's a nice thing. Yeah, th 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 this will actually work. I can pop this mug in the fridge. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna show chat it too. You see that? Looks delicious in there. Bunch of fruit just kind of simmering away. Okay, we're gonna pop this in the fridge. We're gonna let this cool down. There's a bit of space. Okay, and the rest of this I'm just gonna let cool. So we'll get to have some of that in a mo. Pop the extractor off. So I'm gonna leave that there. That's gonna take a long while to cool down, I think. Uh, but what we can do right now, we can try a slice of this. See how it turned out. I'm trying to think what the best way to get it out is. I think with this, it'll be hard to get it with a knife. But if I get it with a knife, it's gonna be a real clean cut, ain't it? I'm gonna try to get it with a knife. Dessert before dinner. I mean, it's it's a special occasion for it though right now, you know? We've done a lot of good tonight. It's okay, I'll still have my dinner. I'll have my nutritious meal that is pizza. <laughs> oh, thank you, people are still donating. Thank you so much, guys. Final $50 or each 50k for Ukraine. Thank you so much. Many chairs. Doctor Anonymous, uh, flu. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, let's cut out a slice of this. Now, I think I think I cut this because it's kind of circular. I think I cut it that way. Let's see. I'm gonna try get it as smooth as I can. Rule of thumb for bacon, 
The first slice always suffers. <laughs> it never goes well. It always falls apart a little bit. Cause it's because of like the tray and that, because I can't really get it out easy. <laughs> but we're gonna try. Okay. So it is a bit crumbly. It is a bit crumbly. First slice. <laughs> it has fallen apart a little bit, unfortunately. I'm gonna see, specifically for showing off for the stream purposes, if I can get a cleaner slice. So bear with me, okay? First slice always suffers. It, it is a rule of thumb for bacon. Anyone who's made a cake knows it. It cannot be helped. It will taste the same, yep. I just wanted to show it off as pretty as I can for the stream. Now I can get the next slice significantly easier. And use the good spatula. The good spatula, we can get in with that now. Okay, so, alright, this one should hopefully do it more justice, see? You can kind of see the shape of it kind of retained a bit more. It is quite a crumbly cake. It's very crumbly. Alright, we're gonna try it. Moment of truth, right? is so nice. The apple is really, really tasty in that. You got like a little bit of kind of like the doughy base to kind of just bind it together. There's so much apple and like the cinnamon is kind of just falling all through it. Oh, that's actually, that's really nice. That's really good. Try a bit more. So nice. I'm actually surprised because the apple has kind of kept quite well in it too. Like when you're biting through it, you can still kind of taste the apple as if it was quite fresh still. It's caramelized a little bit just to add to the flavor, but there's still that kind of sharpness of the apple. And it's actually really nice. That's a damn good cake. Take one, I'm taking one more. I'm taking one more and then I gotta stop or I'm gonna eat it all on stream. Okay. <laughs> I got a good bit of the dough there. Oh, that's so nice. Josie, because I know she's floating in the chat, I'll get some of this to you tomorrow. <laughs> that's a damn good cake. That's a, that's a, good, that's a good Ukraine cake. <laughs> oh, that was absolutely worth it. Yeah, I, I'm going to make that again some point. It takes a little bit of practice peeling the apples, I think, more than anything. But it's so tasty. It's so tasty. If you're an apple and cinnamon person, like, you'll love that. The recipe, um, I will post the exact recipe I used on the Discord if people are interested. Yep, I can, I can pop that there for you. Oh, that's so tasty. I, okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hide this now or I'm gonna eat it all. <laughs> Get it away from me. Putting it away. <laughs> okay, let's see if this is cold enough now as well so we can try a sip of it, okay? No. 
No, it is alarmingly hot still. <laughs> Uh, that one does need to be cooled down fully before we can have it, uh, unfortunately. So, what I will do is I will try that a little later um, and like report back on Twitter or something like that when I get the inevitable pizza that chat has demanded. <laughs> okay? Because it might take a while to cool. But listen, lads. Lads. Thank you so much raising over fifty thousand dollars in like the span of an afternoon that's insane you have done so much good today like really thank you so much for support and care and you ukraine crisis appeal and uh, the ukraine crisis fund you've done so much good uh thank you to the guys at soft given um for kind of helping out with the event and providing the prize incentives for it. They honestly didn't have to do that. It's very kind of them too. It, it, you know, I made it a bit more fun as well. Uh, just like a really cool way of like thanking people for supporting charity. Um, thank you to Kevin and Anna as well, who have also uh, been doing streams for the same cause um, the last week. Like Anna's been a fucking champion of it. She's done like eight of them now. It's actually kind of absurd. Um, but that, they've been doing a lot of good too. And if you donate it to their streams, like, thank you as well for doing it, because, you know, just for doing something in the world. You know, it, it can't imagine what life is like there in the Ukraine right now. It's a very hard time to be living through. So we can at least do something from here to show support and solidarity, which I think is important. Like, seriously, thank you so much, guys. Yeah, let me... I'm gonna see... Oh, hang on. I gotta do one thing my end. Hang on. I'm gonna see... Actually, no, I don't, I don't have any... I, that's right, there is no credits to roll. Sorry. Yeah, what am I talking about? Because we've been doing it through here. Um, like, final, just kind of note off my end. Um, after the stream, I'll do, tally up any income that comes from Twitch for, like, resubs or subs or people who gave bits during the stream, too. Uh, I'll make an additional donation, like, once that all comes through. It tends to take about a day or so for Twitch to tally that. It means that with the final total, we honestly might have hit something like $51,000. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. Because uh, I do know there were people subbing and there were people giving bits during the course of this. So thank you to everyone who did that as well. It's greatly appreciated. And rest assured that will go on. Um, you know, for charity. Uh, thanks for all the hearts, guys, as well. You're too good. Thank you very much. Right, I'm gonna have my cake and get pizza. <laughs> um, I will see you all come Tuesday. Um, I think we'll be streaming some Pokemon then. Uh, we're gonna look at Pokemon Legends Arceus and the new content uh, that came for it. Actually, either Pokemon or Elden Ring. Either Pokemon or Elden Ring. Because I know, I know I promised a little more Elden Ring and I didn't stream yesterday. Bear with me. We got stuff coming next week though. Yeah, thank you so much for coming folks. The stream's gonna very abruptly end uh, when I close it here. I'm just gonna see who else is going so I can like raid them or something. Are Anna and Kevin streaming at the moment? Does anyone know? Here. See. Anna is? Okay, I'm gonna leave you in her care then. That's perfect. Let me find her. Where is she? Go oh, in. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you in her care. Yeah. Oh, I did that right. <laughs> My keyboard set in such an awkward spot for this. It's working! It's working! Hey. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good night. You've done so much good. Thank you. <laughs>